So a couple of months ago, we sat here in this very seat and we ranked all of our favorite Pokemon. Well, today, my friends, we're gonna do it again, but this time we're doing it with Shinies only. That's right, Nintendo will be ranking all of his favorite shinies. We are back here on this amazing website. It's linked down below if you guys want to make your own ranking and then tweet it to me at Vinny. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and subscribe if you are new here. YouTube, say hello to everybody watching this after the fact. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. We are going to have so much fun today. As you can see now, the way we have this set up is when you click on each and every box, it will only show the shiny Pokemon. Now, because we are basically basing all of this on simply design and how they look, this list is going to look completely different than our previous ranking. And I will link that down below as well if you guys want to check out the previous ranking that we did. I don't want to waste any time. I want to jump right in. We want to make sure that everybody watching this after the fact doesn't have to wait too long to get right into the action. By the way, Robot Lady is turned on, so if anybody sends in a super chat, she will read your donations. Thank you guys in advance. Let's start right away with the normal Gen 1 shiny Pokemon. Now, taking a look at this grid here, I'm going to be honest, there's only one that really pops out and just makes me feel something. Actually, there's two. Now, I do love the Snorlax color, but it's way, whoa, whoa, why is there a chat over my face? Get out of here, be gone. Sorry about that, guys. I'm a professional streamer, I promise. So Snorlax looks beautiful, but he's way too similar to the regular color palette of Snorlax. I don't know about you guys, but I like it when a shiny is a lot different than its usual form. That's just me. Now, when I pick my Pokemon, I want you guys to type in the chat either W or L, all right? So first things first, it's, it's just, it's gotta be ditto. I mean, when you look at all of these Pokemon, when you look at them objectively, and you see ditto sitting there with his blue bubblegum looking ass, I mean, come on, that's a W right off the bat. Thank you, Brendan, for becoming a member. We gotta go ditto as our favorite shiny normal type from generation one. Now, what we did last time and what we will do this time, because I wanna keep things very consistent, we are now gonna move to the right. So we're gonna do all the gen one first and all the gen two, and then at the end, we'll figure out all of our favorites. Now, let me ask you a question before we continue, chat. Are we going to do no repeats or are we just going to pick our favorites every single time? Because last time we, we didn't do any repeats. So you guys let me know what do you guys want to do? Repeats or no repeats and we'll go from there. So far we have no repeat, no repeat, repeats, no repeats, favorites, no repeats, no repeats. Okay, we will not do repeats. I hear you loud and clear. Thank you, Max Guides, for the 10. By the way, Really cool feature that YouTube added. I should be able to click on this little heart. Dude, I can hey, heart your super I love chats. I your content with Pat so much, so here's the thanks. Also, Porygon's shiny is goaded. Yo, Porygon shiny is beautiful. Wait, was Porygon shiny in there? Oh, snap it, boys. Yo. Your stash looking pretty fine today. Thank you so much. By the way, I hope you guys like the new robot lady voice. I think she's perfect. We're going to rock with her. Yo, I'm not going to lie. The, the Porygon shiny is looking good, but I, I think we still have to stick with Ditto. We do. But yeah, it's so cool. Now when people send in super chats, if you guys click on uh, Max Guy's uh, donation, you can see I hearted the donation, which is really cool. Shout out to YouTube for the cool features. Okay, we're going to fire types now. All right. So... Looking at fire types, now remember, we can go back and change depending on uh, if we don't want to repeat something or not. Obviously, right off the jump, my eyes are immediately going to Zard, right? Immediately going to Zard. But I'm not going to lie, the Ponyta is looking good. Rapidash also is super cool. And Ninetales. I'm not even going to lie, Magmar looking good too. Magmar looking kind of flames. No pun intended. Another thing is I want to move this chat up just a little bit because my OCD is bothering me, chat. Give me one second. That should be looking good. Now we got to move this a little bit down. Don't worry. I'm a professional. A little bit further down. Let's see. That's looking good. Arcanine's good too. Man, Gen 1 has some fire, 
fire types. Oh, yep, yep, of course. Ha ha! Joe DiFilippo, thank you for the five months. All right, we are going to just lock in our gut feeling here. I know I'm basic. I get it. I hope I see some Ws. I may see some Ls. I got to go with Zard. I mean, his shiny is just a cooler version of regular Charizard. Come on now. And again, we might come back and change that later on. We will see. We got some mixed opinions here. We got some Ws. We got some Ls. We're going to keep it moving and grooving. Water types. There are a lot of them. Okay. Oh my god, dude. See, my brain is bouncing all around. You got you got a really nice green in Polyrath. Cloister's blue is just chef's kiss. Blastoise is shiny as is ass. Let's just keep it a stack. Let's just let's just keep it a fat stack. We have Vaporeon that's a beautiful pink. Gyarados is so iconic. So iconic. I mean, what do we what do we do here, chat? What do we do? Kabuto's. Kabuto's is sick. Yo, thank you so much, gamer, for the five. Robot Lady will read that in a moment. Thank you so much. I am harding every super chat, by the way. It's happening, for sure. See, my gut is saying go Gyarados, man. It's just so iconic. How can you not pick Gyarados? Lapras is really nice, too, though. I'm gonna be honest. Vaporeon's really good. I feel like you gotta go Gyarados here. I just feel like, based on... Just based on history, right? Longevity. Legacy. All of these things matter, chat. By the way, you can see by the pace that I'm going right now, we're going to be here for a while. So I hope you guys have your snacks. I think we got to go Gyarados. And you know what? I'm going to give myself a round of applause for that one. I think we got to go Gyarados. By the way, thank you so much to Matthew for the four months. Thank you, Light Glory, for the five months. Thank you to all of the members. You guys are amazing. Check out all the new emojis that we have, by the way, because the emojis are awesome. How are we feeling about Gyarados? I see a couple of L's. I think I majority. I, I think the majority is W's, though. Which makes Love me very happy. And videos Finchins have been subbed since day one. Yo, thank you so much! Let me know when you guys subscribe too. Was it this week? Was it this month? Was it last year? Fill me in. Also, comment down below. Comment down below when did you subscribe to my channel if you're watching this VOD after the fact. Ryan, thank you for the one month, buddy. All right, we're going to grass. Yo, Max, guys, thank you, dude. Let me heart that. Thank you, buddy. Okay, grass types. Hmm. The grass types are kind of mid. Tangela is pretty good. I like that Tangela goes from blue to green. But I also like the gold eggs. I can't even lie. The gold eggs are pretty sick. I'm a member now, Yahoo. Magikarp's is better emo. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Magikarp is the gold Magikarp. But I just still feel like Gyarados. Red Gyarados is just so iconic to me. I love it. I'm not even going to lie. Venusaur Shiny is really nice. But Venusaur Shiny, I feel like, is... Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur Shiny are very, very similar. I could pick any of those. But I think, honestly, if we're just talking about Shiny, we're talking about Appeal. I just looked over and we had 666 viewers. That is scary. Thank God, it went up to 678. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy this content. More to come. I think I gotta go Tangela. And again, round of applause for myself. Am I crazy for giving myself a round of applause? Maybe. Maybe. But I feel like that's a W. Do we agree? I mean, listen, Tangela by no means is my favorite Pokemon in the bunch there. But the fact that Tangela is shiny is so good. We're looking at a different metric system here, Chad. It's a different system entirely. By the way, since the last video, I lost 12 pounds and got a mustache. I feel like this is peak Nintendo design. Moving on to electric types. Okay. All right. This... It's tricky to rock a rhyme to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky. That's the first thing that pops into my mind right here. Voltorb looks good, dude. Voltorb looks sharp. Magnemite, Magneton, no way. Pikachu, Raichu, way too similar. Zapdos doesn't even look different, to be honest with you. And I love Zapdos. Electabuzz, a little bit of a darker shade. It comes down to whether you think the blue or the vomit green looks better. And I feel like we already know the answer. Blue balls, LOL. <laughs> what up, K-Dog? How's it going? What up, Dog Pound? It's K-Dog here. I think we gotta go... I just feel like Voltorbs... I mean, they're kind of the same blue. Electrode, you see more of the difference in the colors, I feel. 
Voltorb, you really don't see the white underbelly too much. I, I don't know. There's something about the blue top, though, that looks really good. Chat's really campaigning for Electrode. Yo, Needle Mouse! By the way, let me show you guys in real time. I can hoard the I like Super Shiny Jets! Jolteon. Shiny Jolteon, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I feel like Espeon is a better green. Call me crazy. First of all, thank you so much, by the way. To everyone sending in Super Chats, Needle Mouse, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta go Voltorb here. Call me crazy. I gotta go Voltorb. I'm sticking to my guns. Chat, you might be able to persuade me at some particular point throughout this stream. But that point is not now. W's in the chat. As you guys can see, too, if you guys click this little heart down here, you guys can be surprised. Oh my god, Vinny, I'm so surprised. You guys can be partying. Woo, partying. I want to see all of you guys use that right now. Everyone, send in these emojis. I want to see what happens. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yo, Max, guys, again, thank you for the two, man. Thank you so much. All right. While we're waiting for Robot Lady to read that, we're going to move on to the ice types. Okay. See, I feel like... I feel like when you look at the old designs, the retro sprites, Lapras is OP right here. But Lapras does not look like that in modern day. It, it simply does not. Joe DiFilippo, thank you so much for the super chat, man. You guys might think I'm insane. I'm going Cloyster and I'm not looking back. I think, I think Cloyster shiny is so cool. He just goes from a really dope purple Hat, to- Santa beard and stash is peak Nintendo design. <laughs> Santa beard and stash does go pretty hard. I can't lie. Santa beard and, well, Santa hat and beard. That's what it, that's what it looks when it looks peak designs. Fantastic. If shiny Jolteon was Electrode's shiny blue. Yo. Yeah, no, that would be, that would be beautiful. By the way, is the robot lady at a good volume for you guys? I want to make sure that everything sounds beautiful. Okay, yeah, we're going Cloyster. We're going Cloyster. We got the W's. Fighting types. Why are they all green? They're, that's not by accident. There's a reason. Why are they all green? Turn her up a little bit? Okay, bet. Uh, how do I turn her up a little bit? Let me come to the... Let me come to the settings here. She's at 76 volume. We'll make her 86. 86 there. That was for the donos. And then the super chat will go 86 as well. And... Oh, actually, that was for donations. The super chats was 50. I'll make the super chats 60. You guys can tell me if that sounds better. Let me go to the donations and make them 60 as well. I don't want that to be too loud. Okay. This is good. This is very, very good. That should all be perfect now. Also, yeah, I don't think that she can read member messages. Can she? Member messages. Yeah, she can't She can't read the member messages. Wait, can she? Yeah, no, she can't. Damn, that sucks. Hopefully they add that, though. Yo, thank you so much to Chris for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Okay, looking at the fighting boys. I mean, they're all kind of similar. Just looking at these. Like, I am judging this strictly on what's in front of me. Not the modern design. Not a, a simple, uh, you know, one of the designs from Gen 2. We're going with the ones that are in front of us, and the ones that are in front of us, it's Polyrath all day, every day. I mean, that that shade of green, that shade of green is beautiful. You can't tell me it's not a Polyrath W. You just simply can't. You simply cannot. He looks ridiculous. I mean, these greens are good, don't get me wrong. Hitmonchan's pretty decent, but again, it has more of that throw-up green look. I feel like Polyrath looks fantastic. Poison types, holy smokes. There are a lot of poison types to choose from. Okay. I already know what I'm picking. I already know what I'm picking. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see if chat agrees with me. Actually, I don't know what I'm picking. Arbok looks amazing. I was my eyes. You know what? There's three front runners here. I will say that. Three front runners are Arbok, Beedrill, and Nido King. I mean, Nido King's is just so good, dude. I mean, he's He's blue, daba dee, daba die. If he was green, he would die. And if he was green, he would be a Nido Queen. Which is really cute that they're green and blue. I love that. Christine, thank you for the six months. 
Gasly's pretty cool. Muck is pretty cool. Golbat's not bad. He's the green bat now. Thank you, Nick, for the two months, buddy. I appreciate that. Honestly, just judging this without swaying my own brain too much and not getting stressed, I, I gotta go Nidoking. Dude, he looks so good. Honestly, every single Pokemon that we've picked so far, W. And they're all just really vibrant and popping colors, besides Charizard, really. Hey, Vinny. Been subbed for a long time. My favorite Pokemon is Onyx. Very aggressive and so iconic in the anime pun intended. My first Pokemon ever to level 100 and also my first ever Pokemon card. Dude, let's go. That is awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much for letting us know about that. Onyx is fantastic. Crystal Onyx in the anime? Sheesh! Don't get me started, dude. By the way, are we all feeling the W's? Also, huge thank you to Ryan. Also, the way that I have this chat set up is perfect. When I click things at the top, it beautifully sits. That's nice. Ground types. It's time. Okay. You know what? Here's where my brain's going. I'm looking at Geodude. I'm looking at Sandslash. <sighs> I'm looking at Geodude. I'm looking at Sandslash. Sandslash or I fight. Kylie, I, I think I think I agree with you. I think I agree with the misses on this one. Sand Slash is simply superb. Simply superb. What I'm thinking though, would it make sense to pick Nido King for this one? And then Arbok for this one. What do I like better? Arbok or Sand Slash? Gotta go Sand Slash. <laughs> Gotta go Sand Slash every day of the week, dude! Every day of the week. Come on now. Come on now. Christine, thank you so much for the five. I love this super chat feature. I love it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, chat was not happy about the sand slash. That was the first, that was the first big shift in the mood in the chat. Let me tell you. Yo, Max guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Yo, these super chats. <laughs> Thank you, Shiny Ditto. Thank you, WTR. The robot will be with you shortly. Thank you so much. Shiny flying types. <sighs> this is tough. You know what? I was wondering if they were going to put Zard here. Slash shreds. <laughs> Yo, Sandslash do be shredding, though. He do be shredding. I'm about, to, I'm about to do something that I think is going to blow everybody's minds. But I think this is the way to go here. Check this out, chat. Right on. And then Ghastly Brew. Ghastly's not bad. Right on's not bad. Are they on my top list? No. But I do respect the opinion. And thank you so much for the super de duper chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, dude. It was my first ever shiny. Dude, I love that you guys just send in these super chats, like, defending what you would pick. You're like, Geodude, it was my first. He's a little chicken nugget. Come on now. He's great. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to pull, uh... More streams like this. Also, Zubat and Moltres were my first two shinies. Yo, you guys have so many shinies. This is crazy. We are going to do more streams like this because I feel like these are the streams that you guys love the most. So definitely, I'm going live at least once a week uh, moving does. forward, by the way. Gyarados? I love Gyarados. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick Charizard for flying, right? Because out of all these, Charizard, in my opinion, is the coolest. But then what we're gonna do... Well, we are not there yet. We are not there yet. Then what we're gonna do, because we can't do repeats, we're gonna come back over here, and then we're gonna pick Ponyta. And I love that switcherooski. That right there, W's in the chat. W's in the chat. Ditto Ponyta, Gyarados. We got our beautiful Tangela, Voltorb, Cloyster... Uh, Polyrath, Nidoking, Sandslash, and Charizard. Nothing but Ws. We take those. Moving on to the Psychic types. Here we go. Oh, come on. It's... It's not even a question. Well, here's the thing. Out of all of these, Mew and Mewtwo shine. We're gonna have to pick one for our favorite Legendary. We're gonna have to pick one for our favorite Psychic type right now. So, honestly, I can't go wrong with either of these because I know... If one doesn't get picked now, it will get picked later. With that being said, for the Psychic types, I'll go Mew. I'll go Mew. By the way, it's very clear that I love blue, red, and green. Dabba dee, dabba die. 
I named my shiny Ludicolo Vinny smile. Yeah! Thank you, Max! W name. W name, right, chat? Is that a W name? Let me know, chat. Is that a W name? W or L? You gotta let us know, chat. Ludicolo? Vinny the Ludicolo? W's. Mewtwo is not doo-doo. His green not tail is amazing. Did you guys know that Mewtwo doesn't have a tail? Moving on to the bug types. Okay. The bug types. I like Weedle's gold. I love Pinsir's purple. But we gotta go Beedrill green here. Beedrill is fantastic. Venomoth looks really good. Yo, thank you, Big Clutch. I appreciate that, man. Dude, the $10 supers are crazy today. Thank you guys so much. I'm going Beedrill to celebrate that yellow gang. I know he's not yellow, but he's green, and that's pretty close. I mean, Venomoth is good, but we gotta go Beedrill here. We gotta go. Beedrill is OP. Beedrill is fantastic. We absolutely stand Beedrill. We love it. We love it a lot. Rock types. Okay. Now, now we're looking back at Geodude. We're looking at Kabuto. We're looking even at Rhydon. Vinny Moth, baby, let's go. Thank you so much. WTR for the two. Ah, oh, this is a this is a very, very tricky round. This is a very tricky round, man. Hey Vinny, how you doing? Doing Me great! And my boy Mark just finished our Violet Soul Link. Our favorite shinies are Obstagoon and Gigalith. My most recent shiny is a masquerade Ooh. named Shkmees, and he's failed me. Smiley no, face. he's failed you! No, dude! <laughs> Thank you for the 10, man. What was that last super chat? I think I read it. Yeah, Vinny Moth. She read it so fast, Vinny Moth. Okay, I am gonna say... This is tough for me, man. Again, we're just looking at the colors. We're looking at the shiny colors. Which shiny colors go the hardest? Which ones? It's tricky, man. It's tricky, man. I want to say Geodude here. I First yellow shiny that we're... Whoa, whoa, whoa! First yellow shiny that we're picking... It just, it just works, man. It just works. It's a, it's a beautiful gold. And we love that beautiful gold. I would wear a Geodude around my neck. He would be a great pendant. Incredible. We absolutely love that. We really do. Ghost types. Okay. So now, there's only the one line of ghost types. And looking at all these three, obviously, we're going with Gengar. That's a complete joke. We would never pick Gengar. He looks exactly the same. We gotta go Ghastly. The Ghastly is, is beautiful. The Ghastly is incredible, amazing, stupendous. He's all of the best adjectives. By the way, Chad, there might be a point in the stream where I stand up and start walking because I gotta make sure that I get my steps in today. But that time is not now. Dragons! Oh my God. Dude. Dratini and Dragonair. They are perfect. Perfect. Down to the last atom. Come on now. Come on now. Dragonite! This Dragonite? This ugly ass green? You guys are tripping out. You guys are genuinely tripping out. I, I gotta go. It's either dark pink or light pink. I'm going with the light pink. Dragonair all the way. All the way. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all gotta agree with me on that one. Dark type. Okay, these aren't even shinies. So I guess I'll just pick my favorite one here, which of course would be missing no. So that round was easy. Not much to think about there. Moving on to the steel types. Magnemite, Magneton, they essentially look the same. Just one is one, one is three. I'll go with the three. I'll go with the three. It's getting easy to figure this out towards the end of this list. Fairy types. Fairy types, fairy types, fairy types. I want to say Mr. Mime, to be completely honest with you guys. I mean, I do like the green ears on these two. I do. Thank you, Ren, for becoming a member. Enjoy the emojis. I mean, Mr. Mime's green is pretty nice, though. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Dax, thank you, man. Or Dak. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The robot will be with you shortly. 
Yeah, I feel like we gotta go Mr. Mime just because it is the most different. Like, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, they don't look that different. They're just kind of a different shade of pink. Same with these guys. Yeah, we gotta go Mr. Mime here. Gotta go Mr. Mime. Okay. Hey, Vinny. Just found your channel, and I love your content. Thanks, especially dude. Especially live streams. When's the next sleep lock? So, I don't know when the next sleep lock is gonna be, but I definitely want to do a subathon here on Nintendo, and that will be happening at some particular point, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, probably, honestly, we'll probably do a sleep lock... Probably somewhat soon. Like, not a sleep lock per se, but like a 12-hour stream. I really want to get back into streaming on this channel uh, often, and we're aiming for once a week right now. That's the plan. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do again. Here's what I'm going to do again. I think it's time for another switcherooski. <sighs> this is so tricky, man. I almost want to put Charizard as the best shiny starter and then change flying to something. But what would I change flying to? Thank you, Gemmo. Could go Aerodactyl. Ah, I mean, chat is campaigning for Eevee. Eevee's shiny is cool. I just, I don't know if I would call it my favorite. You know what I might do? You know what I might do, chat? As far as these images go? Listen, I don't want anyone to take out their pitchforks. I... I might have to do it to him. I might have to do it to him right here. I'm hovering. I'm considering it. Shiny Charmeleon in this in this look, he looks really good. He looks really freaking good. Chat's about to lose their minds. Hear me out. He looks really good. I don't want to pick Eevee just because the entire chat wants me to pick Eevee. I mean, I just feel like Charizard deserves to be in the starter slot. So let's change flying. Here's what we're gonna do. Aerodactyl, Charizard, get the W's out. Come on, get the W's out. Gemma with the 10 euros. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And Ren with the five. No, no pitchforks, please. Come on, W's, right? W's, 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 yeah, W's, W's, yeah, yeah. You guys like it when I dab? Are dabs still cool? Are dabs still a W? Thank you guys so much again for hanging out with me today, by the way. Like I said, I'm oh, aiming to go hello. live. Oh shit, I gotta be quiet. The robot, the robot is talking. The robot is in the zone. Thank you so much, Scott, or Ryan. Thank you so much, Ryan, for the seven, dude. Thank you, thank you. I have my pitchfork at the ready. At the Tread ready? Lightning. No, dude! No! Please, no! Well, we already picked Gyarados for the water type. So we gotta lock that in. I feel confident about that. Because I don't want to do too many switcherooskies. Okay, we gotta go gimmick form now. Hmm. Oh, dude. See, now this is where Gengar shines. I don't even want to think about it for too long. Shiny Mega Gengar is insane. They learned from their mistakes of regular Gengar Shiny. Gotta go Shiny Gengar. And of course, that's not a repeat. That's fantastic. Ryan, she will read your dono in a moment. Any Super Chat or Streamlabs dono uh, has the robot lady kicking into action. Now, Legendary, we already talked about this. We gotta go Mewtwo, because we picked Mew for the Psychic type. And now... This is like everybody's favorite part, right? We have to pick our favorite shiny from all of the Gen 1 Pokemon here. This is hard, man. This is this is a this is a challenge, dude. Should do the subathon at 1.5 meters subs. Yo, 1.5 mil celebration? Listen, I gotta do the subathon after Shady is done. 
And who knows when he's gonna be done. So we'll see what happens. Yo, Patters, what's up, dude? Gengar, no doubts. Yeah, gotta be Gengar for the gimmick form. This is hard, man. Like... Mew or cringe? See... Mew is Mew is good. Charizard's good. Gyarados is good. Ponyta is good. Nido King, I think I said that already. Nido King is great. Mega Gengar is fantastic. Oh, this is so hard, man. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have trouble throughout this stream, dude. I just feel like you gotta go Zard here. His design is just so iconic. Chris Walls, thank you so much for the one gifted. I gotta listen to my heart at the end of the day. Out of all of these, I, 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 man, they call me original 151. I don't know what you guys want me to say. It's gotta be Zard. It's gotta be Zard, dude. All day, every day. Come on. He's fantastic. And that, my friends, is generation one. So it took us about 32 minutes to get through generation one. We got nine generations to get through and then all the bonus stuff down downstairs. So we got to pick up the pace a little bit or we're going to be live for the entire Saturday. I definitely got to start walking. All right, here we go. Gen two. Are y'all ready for gen two? It's time for generation two. Mew is great. Mew is great. And so is that super chat. That's why I'm going to heart it. Thank you so much, Christine. All right. Here we go. Gen 2. Y'all ready? It'd be that time. Gen 2 normal types. Okay, well, this is where we could pick Porygon. This is precisely where we can pick Porygon. Porygon's looking good. I'm not gonna lie. Miltank has seen better days. Teddy Ursa and, and Ursaring are pretty cute. But I feel like out of all these, you, you gotta you gotta go Porygon. Dude, I just I love a blue shiny. I love, love, love a blue shiny. That was easy. Very, very quick. Didn't have to think about it too much. Moving on to the fire types. Mew is great. Mew is so great. Okay. People are gonna think I'm nuts. And that's fine. I would like to save Ho-Oh for the for the shiny legendaries. It's, it's Slugma. It is Slugma every day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Do you start your week on Mondays or Sundays? What do you do? What do you do? I should be a hand model, by the way. These hands, gorgeous. Gorgeous hands. What would you rate these hands out of 10, chat? I give them a 10 and a half. Slugma is beautiful. Ren, thank you for the two. The robot will indeed read that, I think. Three. Three out of ten. What are you smoking? Pass it around. Get out of here. Hand model Chenzo. We got to go right to the water type now. We do. Slugma balls. <laughs> Yo. I love having the robot on for streams like this because it just, it keeps things moving, you know? And the robot is just fantastic. Are you guys enjoying Robot Lady? Are you guys a fan? I believe her name is Sandy. I could be wrong, but I think it's Sandy. All right, water types. It's time. Yo. A lot of good water types, man. A lot of good water types here. Oh, wait. No, there's, there's, there's one answer. It took me a second. It took me a second to get there, but there's one answer here, and none of you have said it really yet. Thank you, Levi. You know what the answer is, and it's Limoncello. It is Limoncello. This, I would argue, is the best yellow shiny. Best yellow shiny on the board. It will be the best yellow shiny on the board. Thank you so much, Needle Mouse. Yes! Mr. Hot said, fish? Which fish? Which, lantern? Nah, dude, it's Limoncello. Lantern's pink is just a little bit too purple. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, chat? I think it does. By the way, once we get to Gen 3, I'm gonna start walking. Because I am very paranoid I'm not gonna hit my step goal today. And that would be an issue. 
Okay. Grass types. <sighs> All aboard the mid train. Choo choo. This is tricky, man. I would say... Yo, Hopip kind of fire. Am I going to get absolutely torched if I pick Hopip right now? Chikorita's okay. Meganium's... Eh. Bayleaf, I just... Bayleaf got a bad tan. Bayleaf didn't put on sunscreen. I... My eye is drawn to this. I... I don't like the pink that Celebi has here. Jump Pluff's pretty good. <laughs> um, man, I think I want to go Hopip. I think I want to go Hopip here. Atsumeril. Atsumeril. <laughs> she said that's so cool. Atsumeril. <laughs> um, listen. At the end of the day. You guys are going to make your list. You're going to tweet to me, at Vinny. Follow me on Twitter. While you're at it, follow me on Instagram, at Vinny. Been posting a lot more there lately. I got to listen to my heart. I got to speak my truth. And looking at all of these, it's your boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that might spawn an absurd amount of L's, but at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do. As Rocky says... I gotta go out the way I gotta go out. You know what I mean? Damn, people were not happy about that one. People were not happy about that one. Listen, it's not gonna be my favorite shiny ever, but I feel like it deserves to be on the board. The all green is really cute. You guys just have a hop it bias. That's your problem. You can't look past the fact that I just picked a hop it. Look in the mirror. You'll see yourself. Electric types. See, this, this is fantastic. It comes down to Raikou and it comes down to Ampharos here. All right? And call me crazy if the legendary slot is already going to be for Ho-Oh. What we have to do right here is go Raikou. We got to go Raikou. I know Ampharos is a favorite. I know y'all love... The pink Ampharos. I get it. He's great. Thank you for the 1,000 viewers, by the way. 1,000 concurrence. Let's go. Let's celebrate. Let's dance. Let's vibe. Yo, I'm getting a quarter pounder with cheese later. It's going to be next level. But the question is, can we get to 1,000 likes? I think we can. Moving on to the ice types. Okay, we got a Sneasel. We got a... Am I insane for wanting to rock with the Delibird here? Is that a crazy take? Hmm. To argue Chaz's point that Raikou doesn't change much, I would I would argue this is the not changing very much, though, done right. It's not like Garchomp. It's not like Gengar. It looks like a better version of Raikou, in my opinion. Therefore, we got to rock with him. Thank you, Christine, for the eight. The robot will be with you shortly. I got to go Delibird here. I love the pink. I love the pink. It's it's so good. It's so good. Can we get some? Come on. W, Christmas W. Christmas holiday cheer W's in the chat, please. I'm, I'm asking kindly. All right. We got some W's. Shady would be proud. Shout out to Shady P. Fighting types. There, there's no banter. There's no debate. There's no silly puns. There's nothing. It's Heracross. It's Heracross every day of the week. It's Heracross. It's a W in the chat. It's a smashing that like button. It's subscribing. It's sharing this video with a friend. It's Heracross or bust. Ren said it best. Heracross or bust. Come on now. Poison type. Ha! Ah, one more rep, Vinny. One more rep. Ah! Say it, Vinny. One more rep. Uh, Crobat! Crobat's beautiful. Wait a second. Yo, for biggest hell. What was that message? Raikou or biggest L. Listen, I, I agree with the Raikou. I agree with the uh, with the Raikou. Yo, Spinarak looking kind of fire though. You know, I was initially just gonna say Crobat, do my rep and keep it schmoovin'. Don't disrespect Crobat. I'm conflicted. 
Would you be happy if I supered 20 bucks? Of course, but you do not have to, my dude. Donos are never required, always appreciated. Yo, Smackjack, love the name, dude. Thank you so much for the five. He is watermelon, that's true. Ariados, honestly, these all look good, man. This is tough. But flying is coming up. Maybe we'll pick Crobat for flying. Because what do the flying types look like? Oh, no. There's so many good flying types. Bro, we're spoiled in the flying category. You know what, man? I... I... Oh, man, I'm, I'm very... I'm very conflicted. Yo, Scott! Thank you, man! I am definitely happy, dude. Thank you so much. I love that I can heart super chats. It's the coolest thing ever. All right, I I gotta pick one. I I just gotta pick one. I gotta lock it in. I'm I'm going spinner rack. I love the blue. The blue and the pink are just a very nice touch. It reminds me of candy. If I caught that Pokemon and it was shiny, I would name it Cotton Candy. Can we get some W's for Scott? Listen, when someone drops an orange gang, you gotta get W followed by their name. That's a W for Scott right there. That's a W, Scott. Keep it. Schmoovin, chat. Keep it schmoovin. W Scott. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Ground types. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. I. Yo, I'm kind of conflicted. I'm kind of conflicted. Because. Don fan's really Would you cool. Be happy if I super $20? Heck yeah, dude. Steelix is a really cool gold. Gligar is a really cool blue. Quagsire's pink is just gorgeous. I'm saving my pitchforks for some bangers later on, mainly ones from Unova and Kalos. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Sharpen that pitchfork. Put it in some fire. Dude, this is a... Oh, pupits are so good, too. Good. I like seeing people happy. Thank you, dude. I hope you have the best day. Man, this is a tough round. Quagsire looking cute. Cupitar's purple is like the nicest purple I've seen. Steelix is, is like the epitome of shiny. And Gligar's blue is just so good. They can all be good, but who is the best? Man, I have not been this conflicted the entire stream. I would say that... I don't think there's any L's here. Based on the ones that I would pick. You know, if I picked Swine Up, there'd be some L's. I think... Hmm. Ren, thank you so much for the five! I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Called off work today just to watch the stream. Yo, that is dedication! Problem. Thank you, Ren. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna say... Who am I gonna say, man? The Steelix is growing at me the more that I look at it. I think I have to go Steelix. Oh, but Quagsire's so cute, dude. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go Steelix. I'm sorry if some of you think that's an L. It's my heart. It's my heart speaking. I got to listen to my heart. Kelly Clarkson said it best. You got to listen to your heart when he's calling for you. I, I think that was Kelly Clarkson. I think. I could be wrong. Also, let me go ahead and share the stream on original. Okay. There we go. All right. Honestly, some solid Ws. That's true. There is the steel category. We might come back and change that. We might come back and change that. Hey, thank you, Cal, for the first super chat, man. Flying types. Okay. With flying types... Oh, Lugia is so good, bro. Well, we could go psychic for Lugia. We could go psychic for Lugia. I think this is where we pick Gligar. I think this is where we pick Gligar. Because in my opinion... Okay, Mantine looks legitimately exactly the same. Is that shiny Mantine? I thought he was pink for some reason. 
I gotta go Gligar here. The Gligar shiny is immaculate. And now when we get to Psychic... Oh, there's some good ones, man. There's some good ones. It's hard. Espeon, that green, speaks to me. Wobbuffet's pink is gorgeous. Lugia's pink is just superb. Unknown, they're just blue. Eh, daba dee, daba die. You know what I mean? My first ever super chat. Can I get a salute for Pook? Gone, but never forgotten less than three. We love you, Pook! That is a Soul Link reference that you guys should totally go check out on uh, my original 151 channel. All right, I got I gotta go Lugia here. I gotta go Lugia. It's funny to me that both the psychic types so far have been legendaries. Hilarious. Bug types. You know what? You know what? I know exactly who I'm picking here. This one didn't take a lot of thought. It's Shuckle. It's Shuckle all day, every day, dude. Look at that beautiful design. Scizor is too much of a, I'm sick, I have to go to the hospital. Shuckle is the perfect encapsulation of... Get shocked. Exactly, K Dog. He was red, now he is blue. That that's a combination you can't beat. I love that W. I, I feel like that's a strong W. Rock types. You know what? I feel in my heart and soul. It's Pupitar. That purple is immaculate. Corsola, you know what? Corsola's baby blue is really unique and nice. It is really unique. Hey, thank you, Kai. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. It's it's Pupitar or it's Corsola. Which do I resonate with more? No, I'm going to stick to Pupitar. I think the purple of Pupitar is the chef's kiss, man. I really think it's the, it's the chef's kiss. I really do. It's fantastic. Coming up on the ghost type. Okay, there's there's only one ghost. And listen, this this shiny could be way better. All right, I, I'm ashamed I even have to click this, to be honest. No disrespect, but like, what, what do we... It doesn't fit the aesthetic of our vibe. It's like we got all of our furniture at our favorite stores, and then this was just like a gift from our neighbor that you only accept because you want to be polite. Ugh! I hate it. I hate it, dude. But you know what? We gotta we gotta put it there. Also, this pimple on my forehead is driving me crazy. I'll just be transparent. It's driving me crazy. Dragon types. What do we got? I'm fine with picking Kingdra. Again, not a lot of options in Gen 2. There's not a lot of Pokemon in Gen 2. But I'm, I'm okay with that. Health pick, not gonna lie. I had to pick it! I literally had to! <laughs> Dark types. Come on, what are we talking about here? It's Umbreon every day of the week. It's Umbreon every day of my life. Every day of my life, dude, it's Umbreon. Come on now. Love from Brazil. Umbreon is content. beautiful. Fantastic. Best, I, it might be the best shiny in Gen 2. It very well might be the best shiny in Gen 2. You're not wrong, k Dog. You're really not wrong. We're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out very 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 swiftly. Love from Brazil. Thank you so much, dude. Shout out to Brazil. Okay, steel types. So here's what we're gonna do. This is definitely Steelix, and then we come back over here and we change this. We already picked Ligar. We already picked Pupitar. It then becomes Quagsire. W's. I love that switch. I love that switch. It's fantastic. Nothing but dubs. All right, fairy types. Yo. All right, well, we already picked Azumarill. My gut's saying pick Meryl. My gut is saying pick Meryl now. That green... Yo, and look at it as a package deal for a second. You go from this beautiful green to this beautiful gold. It's an amazing combination. I love that green. Meryl might win this. Is that insane to assume that I might pick Meryl? Is that bananas? Oh my god, there's no... Wait, there's no ice types? Oh 
yeah, the ice type was uh, Delibird. I got confused for a second. I'm like, wait, there's no ice types? Starters. This right here is a no-brainer for me. Honestly, what does it for me is the blue spikes on for alligators back. It's for alligator for sure. I love that for alligator shiny. So good. Ain't nobody dope as me. I feel so fresh, so clean. So fresh and so clean. He just looks like he jumped out of the shower. He doesn't dwell in the swamps. He dwells in the shower. Gimmick form. Okay. For gimmick form, I would say I want to go... I would say Houndoom. Houndoom looks super cool. I love the blue. I know you guys are really campaigning for the Ampharos. But for me, it's... Yeah, Houndy is right there. Amen, Kylie. Houndy for the win. He ain't nothing but a Houndoom. Riding all the time. Legendary. This, again, no... Why do you guys think I stopped here? Kylie knew instantly, dude. Kylie knew instantly. Here's the thing. Ho-Oh shiny is insane. But looking at the Suicune shiny, I'm kind of in love. I'm, I've, I've, I think I just fell in love. Guys, Celebi is not, the green on its antenna are horrible. You guys gotta jump off the Celebi bandwagon. I'm sorry, you just gotta. Oh, this is so hard, man. Cause Ho Oh Shiny's so cool. See, here's where I'm conflicted. Here's where I'm conflicted. I love Meryl at the fairy slot, and I love Azumarill at the water slot. I love it. So I can't I can't move them. So what it comes down to is you're gonna pick is are you going to pick Suicune or Ho-Oh right here? Levy, it's it's tough though. Thank you for the super chat. It's tough because now that Meryl's in fairy, I don't want to move Meryl. I love that green. I love that green. I'd argue I like that green better than the Suicune and the Ho-Oh. I'm Call me crazy. Maybe I'm insane. I... <sighs> I'm so conflicted, dude. I've never been this conflicted. I think what I have to do... Bro, the Suicune shiny. The blue, like, hair on the back is amazing. I am fighting for my life. This is... This is tragic. I think what I have to do... Ah, oh, dude. I can't leave Ho-Oh out of it. I can't... No, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go Ho-Oh. I, it's, it, listen, look at it, dude. It's beautiful. It just pops, it jumps off your screen. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm sorry to the Suicune community. I had to, I had to do it. I really like my Gen 2 picks. I really like my Gen 2 picks, dude. Suicune for water, Atsumero for fairy, Hoa for legend. Kylie, I'm sorry. And now my favorite from Gen 2? Dude, there actually might be a riot. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Meryl, dude. I I know people might just be absolutely flabbergasted. Dude, hear me out, chat, before you guys have a freaking absolute riot in the chat. That green is perfection. I know it's just a Meryl. That shiny is 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 gorgeous. Like I as far as colors go, not a lot of colors even touch that. I actually see a lot of mixed reviews. I see some dubs. I see some L's. I do. That right there is Gen 2, folks. We got Porygon. Was that Porygon Z or Porygon 2? Porygon 2, Slugma, Azumarill, 
Hopip, Raikou, Delibird, Heracross, what is his name? Spinarak, Quagsire, Gligar, Lugia, Shuckle, Pupitar, Mischievous, I believe that's Mischievous, uh, Kingdra, Umbreon, Steelix, Meryl, Feraligator, Houndoom, Ho-Oh, Meryl. I think that's a dub for Meryl. All right, so before we jump into Gen 3 chat, I'm gonna go on the BRB screen. You guys can talk amongst yourselves, debate some things, tell me if you like what I've done so far. If you dislike what I've done so far, I am gonna go ahead and, uh, and start walking because we have to make sure we keep our physical health in check. So I will BRB my dudes, and then we will continue this journey. All right, all right, all right, chat, we are back. We are here. I'm trying to remember which scene is the right scene. I think it's this. Yeah, I got it. All right, so now 
We are moving and grooving. We are multitasking. I will be burning calories while we pick our favorite shinies. Giratina is the best shiny. Well, we will figure that out once we get to Gen 4. Ladies and gents, we've done Gens 1, Gens 2, and now it is time for Gen 3. By the way, how does everything sound? Can you guys hear the treadmill or is the background audio loud enough? Want to make sure that we're going to go here. Gen 3, normal types. Let's take a gander here. Yo, imagine a Zuril clears. Nah, 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 nah. We already picked, we already picked Meryl. We're fine. Right away, by the way, everybody. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Right Away and Right Away Plus. My dude's about to start doing some Pokemans content. Wendy, thank you so much for the two. Okay, so... Swellow and Tailow are pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Slack off goes kinda dummy. Slack off goes kinda hard. I really like... Why are there two... There's two different shinies of Kecleon? That's very cool. Oh, Zangoose is sick. Yeah, Zangoose is really cool. Yo, am I absolutely insane for thinking Delcaddy is a contender? Is that is that absolutely wild? Because I feel like Delcaddy is insane. Oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, dude. You're the best. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, Delcaddy's shiny is like really unique. The closest thing that it's akin to is the Gyarados. But Zangoose is very cool. I just feel like Zangoose... I need to not look at Zangoose as Zangoose. Because for me, when you just look at Zangoose as a Zangoose, he's not really one of my favorites, you know? But looking at the way that the shiny is designed, I love the red claws. I like the white fur with the blue accents. But again, I gotta pick... I gotta pick what I feel is the goat here. And looking at all these, I just, I feel like the goat is the Del Caddy. Is that an insane pick? I don't think it's that insane. Slack off is really good too. Hmm. I don't want to lose chat in the first, in the first pick, but I might have to do it to him. It's tough. You know, Del Caddy's yellow body it's kind of off-putting. I'll, I'll go with the Zangoose. And I like that all the normal types so far have been blue. So that's that's pretty freaking consistent. I love that. Let's go to the fire type section. Okay. Camerupt. 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 Do not get me started. Don't make me start jogging right now. Don't make me start jogging. He might be the best Gen 3 shiny. He might be the best right there. I might have to start running. You think I'm cool walking? Wait till I start running, chat. Are you kidding me? Look at this dude, bro. I love those rounds where there's just... There's no question. You just pick, you keep it moving. You stick and move. Oh, Holy pink and purple. Ugh, this is tough. This is very tough. All right. Immediately, my eye is drawn to Kyogre, obviously. Sharpedo's pink is just, like, gorgeous. Huntail's green is really nice. Honestly, Barboche goes dummy. Like, keeping the same body, but having the yellow accents. Christine, biggest W for camera up. Thank you so much for the five. So, I think in Gen 3, our legendary pick, most likely, if I'm... There's going to be a lot of legendaries on the Gen 3 board. 100%. So, we can always change this. I think we go Kyogre for now. Because I have a feeling for the legendary category, we're probably going to pick Rayquaza. Camera up is the biggest W. We're probably going to pick Rayquaza later on. We can come back and change this. I don't want to pick Mudkip because Mudkip will most likely be my favorite shiny starter. Rayquaza might sweep this round. It, it's, it's definitely a possibility. Let's check out Grass now. Okay. Oh, yo. I'm not even going to lie. Septile Shiny's insane, dude. I also really like uh, Roselia's. I love the black and purple roses. That's that's a nice touch. 
That's a nice touch, chat. Yeah, Breloom's really sweet. Man, Gen 3 is getting difficult, man. Low, low Tad's pretty good, too, actually. Low Tad is pretty good, too. This is probably going to be the first grass round where it's not just green. Um, what does my gut want to do here, man? What does my gut want to do? Cray Dilly's really good, too. Cray Dilly is really good, too. Why do I want to pick Roselia? <laughs> Ludicolo Vinny! Max, I appreciate the support, but I can't do it. He's not really even on my radar, to be honest. He's really not on my radar. Also, let me move this over a little bit. Wait, that's not moving me over. There we go. I'm gonna go a little bit this way. That's good. Oh, this is this is challenging. This is challenging. I'd say Roselia is up there for me. Reloom is up there for me. Septile's up there for me. Yeah, Septile's so cool, man. And for starter, we're gonna pick Mudkip. So if we don't pick Septile now, he probably won't get picked. <sighs> that that baby blue is nice. I think. Dude, my eye just keeps getting drawn to Roselia. I, I just love that the flowers are a different color. I love that the flowers are a different color. I don't know if anyone's going to agree with me there, but like that, I like it when shinies do that. It's the body is relatively the same, but the flowers are different. And I feel like that's really cool. I I think that's, I think that was a dope pick. Me, me personally, I think that was a dope pick. I feel like that was good. All right. Electric types. Yo. Okay, it's a no. Mm? I was going to say it's a no brainer, but hold the phone. Hold the phone, chat. Baby blue or Super Saiyan? I feel like you got to go Super Saiyan here. You got to go Super Saiyan. Also, these two are kind of similar vibe. Got to go Manetric there. Plus one mining, by the way. Plus all looks exactly the same. Minin looks different. Or is this... No, yeah, that's mine and that's Plusle. That's interesting. That They didn't really change Plusle, but they changed mine in. Fair enough. Okay. Ice types. Ooh, yo. See, this is where we're going to hit a point of contention. And there's going to be debate and there's going to be rage. And we're going to be all over the place. Glalie literally just changing his eye color... I think is actually so cool. He's just angry, dude. Like, that's Glalie if he didn't get a lot of sleep. He just turns shiny. Regice looks exactly the same. Sfeel, Celio, and Walrein all look great. I won't lie. But I just, I feel like... Man, that, the red eyes, the red eyes are too cool. I'm sorry, I gotta go Glalie. I gotta go Glalie, dude. The red eyes are just... They're the chef's kiss. They really are. Come on, let me get some W's for that. There's gotta be, there's gotta be some people here that agree with the eye color choice. There has to be. It is not mid. Get out of here. Fighting types. Okay. This is good because now, because we didn't pick Breloom earlier, we can pick Breloom here. I do really like the red. I do really like the red. The yellow toes are on point. The tail's looking dapper. Stan Breloom, W. Poison types. Yo, some Viper's crazy! Yeah, it's a Viper, dude. Does he really have that many different colors? Yo, that is insane. That is insane. Yo, he might be... He might be a contender. I'm just... Hand model Chenzo, he's just saying. That's... I better see a sea of Ws after that. That was fantastic. Ground types. <laughs> okay, okay. So, my gut feeling is obviously Groudon. I mean, the Groudon shiny is just... It's so cool, man. We already picked Camera Upt. We didn't even have to think about Camera Upt. I'll tell you what, though. 
What's the little guy that evolves in a Flygon? Trap Inch? No, Trap Inch is the little, little guy. The guy in the middle. Who's the guy in the middle? Vibrava? He actually is OP. Vibrava's kind of sick. But I feel like here... I can't go Vibrava, right? I can't. There's no way. Flygon's okay. I'm not I'm not a huge shiny Flygon fan, to be honest. Camera up, we already picked for fire. I I feel like we have to go Groudon here. We're definitely gonna pick more pink shinies for sure, Christine. Thank you so much. Honestly, could go Swampert here. Speaking of pink. Yeah, Claydol, Claydol is pretty sick too. Same with Baltoy, both of them. I still think Barboach is sick. I know nobody would agree with me. Probably not a single soul. Wish Cash, eh. He lost his luster when he evolved. I'm gonna say, looking at all the... Because here's the thing. I would regularly pick Groudon. But I feel like this particular shiny look is a little off-putting. Compared to like what he, what he has looked like. What he could look like. I think here I go Swampert. I think I go Swampert. Come on, there's gotta be there's gotta be some dubs. There we go! Alright, y'all were feeling that one. Beautiful. <laughs> Screw the rules. Camera up again. Flying types. What the hell is that? Why Why is there Why is there a Lugia here? Is this Shadow Lugia? Is this shiny Shadow Lugia? Why is this even here? What is going on? I dare you to pick at least one more pink shiny. Yo, thank you, Big Clutch, for the five. And we literally did pick a pink shiny right after Christine's donation. All right, so ignoring the Lugia, Salamence looks amazing. Okay. Yo, Altaria's shiny is actually insane. I love it, dude. Rayquaza, we're probably picking for the legendary round, I would assume. So I, I would, I would pick Altaria over Salamence. Is that insane? I think that's insane. Tropius just, he looks, he looks the same, just a little bit more saturated. Gotta speak up for the boy, even though he failed me. Gotta go with Shkmees, the shiny masquerade for Bug. Maybe. It depends what he's up against. It depends what he's up against. Thank you for the five. We shall see when we get there. I think I gotta go Altaria for flying. I think that Altaria shiny is beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. I'm honestly fine with that. I think that's a good pick. I think that's a very good pick. Altaria, Altaria W. Psychic types. Oh, oh my god. There's so many good ones. Oh, you know what? Why is this Lugia here again? <laughs> I'll tell you something right now. Oh, dude, this is this is going to be rough. Because here's my thought process. I'll walk you guys through everything in my brain right now. Metagross line, amazing. Literally in the poll that I did today, Metagross was in there for like one of the top four best shinies. I love him. Latias is incredible. I love Latias. The Deoxys line is insane. It's perfect. It's, it's... Jirachi even though. Jirachi's great. Metagross I could save for Steel. And that kind of makes me lean towards Deoxys. Or rather... Kind of makes me lean towards Jirachi a little bit. Yo, Big Bad Beat Rob, what's up, dude? Yeah, Polyrath Shiny Dude, OP. OP. Okay, I think... Man, I love the Latias Shiny, though. The Latias Shiny is speaking to me. It really is. Soul Rock's pretty sick, too. He just looks more like the sun. He's more... Yo! My boy Spoink looking amazing? Spoinktastic? We made up a new word for this dude? All right, let's go. Let's let's go, Latias. Is that insane? I just, dude, I love that orange color. I love that orange color. I love Latias too. I have a lot of nostalgia for Gen Three. Yeah, honestly, they're all solid picks. I agree with Rich. They're all solid picks. 
bug types. <sighs> Shedinja's is very similar, but I kind of like it. I really like Shedinja's, actually. It's just a little bit more gold. Ninjask is sick, too. Mesquerain is not bad. I'll be honest with you. I, I, do, I do like the different color schemes. Armaldo's looking good. I really like gold Ninjask, dude. Ninjask is pretty insane. Hmm. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Michael. Just joining the stream. Glad to see my boy Polyrath make the cut. Let's go, dude. Let's go. All right. I think what I got to do here is... Yeah, just going with my gut. I know there was a super chat campaigning for this dude. But I think I got to go shiny ninja ass. That's so cool. Bro, look at all the gold, too. Gold, orange, gold, orange, gold, orange, yellow. Like, all that. Fantastic. I love that. I feel like that's a cool pick. Rock types. Oh, dude. Gen 3 just hit different with the shinies. Reggie Rock's shiny is actually sick. I really like it. Agron's is cool because it's like a, a baby blue. And he keeps like his steel form. Sonic, I am walking. What's up, Sonic? How's it going, dude? I can go fast too if you want me to, Sonic. I'll play your song and I'll go fast. Agron is really good. I can't explain when I do this chat. And I look at all these Pokemon in this in this box, in this grid, right? I can think logically, but at the same time, there's always like one Pokemon that's pulling me in a certain direction. And in this particular case, it's Regirock. And I know he's similar, but again, I feel that he's similar done right. And I can't explain it. I just I just feel that that type of Regi rock it just pops really well. The orange matches really well with the color of the rocks. I just, I don't know. Does anyone agree? That one might, that one's going to be, I, I know not a lot of people are going to agree with that one. I get it. Relicomp is pretty sick too. We actually have a good amount of W's there. We have a good amount of W's there. That's awesome. Ghost types. Oh my God. Dust skull. All day, every day. All day, every day. Look at that red. It's fantastic. Do not even have to think about it. It's great. It's excellent. It's stupendous. Dragon types. Okay. He fails me yet again. No! I'm doing my best. For the dragons, this to me is a no-brainer. It's, it's Rayquaza. Rayquaza is just immaculate. And again... We're leaving that legendary slot open still, so we could go back and we could change some things. But we'll see what happens when we get there. Dark type. Dark type, I'm going... Sharpedo's pink is just too perfect. That is probably the nicest looking pink slash purple. One of the nicest pink slash purples on the grid. Love that. Okay, now we're at the Steel Boys. We all know what's going to happen here. It's got to be Metagross. Metagross is shiny. I mean, you look at it compared to the other two Steel types, right? Steelix is really cool. Magneton is eh. But Metagross is shiny. We're all universally going to say that that's one of the best shinies on the board, correct? The X being gold and the gold feet are insane. Literally insane. I love it. Fairy types. Okay. I do like the Azuril green, obviously. But I think... I think what I would pick here is... I really like the shiny Ralts. I love how the only... I do like it, weirdly enough, when the shinies just change one attribute and keep the rest the same. So in other words, this Ralts is essentially the same, just instead of having the green hat, he's got a blue hat. I'm going Ralts. I'm going Ralts. Also, I can feel Ralts cry. Does that make sense? When I think about Ralts, I can feel the cry. Starters! Okay. For me here, this one is a no-brainer. We go Mudkip. We all love Mudkip. If you love Mudkip, please hit that like button and subscribe. Gimmick forms. Woo! There's a lot 
of good ones here. You know what? Might be an underrated take. I'm going Sableye here. I love that his gem goes from the pink to a green. And I love that his eyes go green to match the gem. I think that shiny Mega Sableye is awesome. And there's a, way too many L's in the chat right now. You guys are out of your minds. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it pops the most out of any of these. IMO. Now, when it comes to the legendaries, we already picked Rayquaza. We already picked Kyogre. We already picked Regirock. We already picked Lottie. Excuse me, Latias. So who do we pick with this leftover slot? I want to say I'm leaning towards Deoxys. I want to say I'm leaning towards Deoxys here. Jirachi does go so hard though, man. There's something about this Deoxys though right here. The green, the the black, and the yellow is crazy. The fence looks really good too. I feel bad not putting Groudon on here. I don't know. I, I feel like this sprite with Groudon just looks strange. Usually I feel he's more gold. Right here he looks more yellowish. Like a throw up yellow. <sighs> I'm conflicted, man. I'm very conflicted. Because, you know, Lugia is kind of a cop-out. It's not really Gen 3. I guess they're putting it in there because Coliseum came out during this time. But he's not even on my radar right now. Plus, Lugia we already picked previously. Um... Dude, this one, we're going to be here all night. This is tough, man. I feel like we gotta go Deoxys. I mean, if we pick any of the Deoxys forms, we're picking Deoxys anyway. Let's go with standard Deoxys there. I like the way his noodles look. And now it's time for our favorite Gen 3. Looking at all... Ugh, dude, there's some contenders here. There is some contenders, man. Looking at all of these shinies, the ones that really stick out are Camerupt Kyogre, so Viper, believe it or not, Rayquaza, Metagross, and I feel Deoxys. I think my gut feeling in my heart and soul, I think we gotta go Metagross. And I feel very good about that pick. I feel very good about that pick. Probably if it wasn't for Metagross, I'd probably go either Camerupt, the Viper, or the Kyogre. But the Metagross is just... It's too perfect, man. It's just... I can't even explain it. Yo, Fusion, thank you for the super sticker. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Generation 3. Now, we are moving on to Generation 4. Everybody ready for Gen 4? Make some noise in the chat if you're ready for Generation 4, baby! Here we go. We are getting our steps in. We are feeling good. We're burning calories. We're taking names. Hit the like button if you're ready for Gen 4. All right. I'm excited. Will there be a blue normal type yet again? Let's find out. Here we go. Gen 4 normal types. He looks hilarious. Okay. So immediately... Hello, oh, Punny's so good, bro. The pink ears, the pink little booties. Dude. Uh. Oh, the Regigigas is sick too, though. The Golden Arceus is amazing. I'll probably... Golden Arceus is crazy. Axecraft, thank you for the 10, dude. Thank you so much. Munchlax is a very cute blue. I won't lie. Love the channel makes my day whenever i find a new video keep up the good work dude thank you so much will do <sighs> i i feel like i gotta pick low punny here i don't know there's something about the pink that's really appealing 
Yeah, Arceus is looking a little bit too yellow than gold. I I, I agree with that, K-Dog. Chat Tot's not bad. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna say low punny. First non-blue normal type. First non-blue. I feel like low punny's a good pick though. I mean, looking at all these Pokemon, the low the low punny color scheme looks really, really awesome. Pink shinies do hit different. That's so true, Dopey. Yo, what's up, Maggie? Low punny is a lovely lady. She's a lady of class. Okay, fire types. <sighs> Yo, all of these, this is so interesting. All these look very similar to their original designs. I'd say out of all of these, my, my, this looks exactly the same. Heatran looks exactly the same. I would say it's either Magmortar or Rotom Fire or Rotom Microwave, whatever the fuck this guy's called. I'm going to say, I really like the pink on Magmortar there. I would go Magmortar there for Tell sure. Me pink shinies hit different. They really do. Pokemon Boy, thank you so much for the five, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, water types. Oh, this is tough. Hey, if you ever have time after this, can you go to Tier Maker and type Gen 1 Base Form Bug Type Tier List and go to Recent The Bug Type Is Mine? Yo, if you want to send me the tier list, my dude, just tweet it to me on Twitter. And I can check it out after the stream. Thank you for the five. I appreciate that. All right. So honestly, kind of a weak roster, in my opinion. I I feel like Buizel is the one that's popping out to me the most. Um, Palkia's pink is just kind of... Eh. Also, do we have to start saying, send it to me on X. Follow me on X. Like, it's just... it's. It's weird, bro. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't get on board. I just can't. I think I'm going Buizel. I think I'm going with the pool noodle here. This has started much differently than the previous three gens. But yeah, that's that's what I would do. Yo, if you don't want to make a Twitter, you can send it to my contact email, contact original 151 at gmail.com. You could send it on IG. Whatever you are feeling, my dude. I am walking, Melvin. I am. I'm getting my steps in. It's going to be a long stream. I got to make sure that I stay active over here. All right. Grass types. I Grass don't types. Have Twitter. <laughs> the robot does not have Twitter. Yo, Gen 4 Shinies? Call me. Call me crazy. They're kind of mid so far. I didn't, I didn't say anything. I know people love their Gen 4. <laughs> These shinies are just kind of mid, just a little bit. Shiny Shaman's pretty cool. Shiny Shaman, pretty cool. Um, Tangrowth goes hard. Obviously, it just follows the green color scheme. I kind of like Obama Snow. Also, thank you again for another 10. Thank you, Dean. The Leafy on Shiny's cute. It's just too similar. Leafy on Shiny make me so sad. It it's too similar in that not better way. You know what I mean? I mean Roserade. See, I like Roselia's flowers better than Roserade's flowers. But that's not really a color thing. That's kind of a design choice. I really do like the white and blue of Obama Snow. I gotta tell you. The Shaman Colors palette though is really nice. That's like similar, but great. Yeah, Boz, I kind of agree. Um, let's say I think I got. Yeah, I'm gonna go Obama Snow, dude. All these Pokemon look huge. You're the big boys. They are the big boys. Ben with the four months. Thank you, buddy. Ooh, the electric types! Yo! Wait, all the shiny Rotoms have the same red? I feel like they could have done a lot more with that. They could have done a lot more. By the way, I feel like this one's a no-brainer. It's got to be Luxray. But honestly, Magnezone's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yo, I also really like the Pachirisu. <laughs> Would you guys kill me if I picked the Pachirisu? I feel like the Pachirisu is really good. I like the pink and the white, dude. I really like it. But you got you got to go Luxray. I, listen, I know, I know. 
Gotta, gotta go Luxray. Gotta go Luxray. All right, Ice types. Um, oh yeah, yeah, man. These are okay. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap the Grass type to Shaman, and then for the Ice type, I'll pick Obama Snow. Mamoswine's greenish tint is probably the worst green that is gonna be on this board. The Rotom Shiny's weird. I don't know. Just him being red is just kind of... It's not appealing to me. IMO. Fighting types. Ooh. Oh, Lucario. 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 Come on now. Can't do it right now, Pokemon Boy. Like I said, we're, we're doing something right now. But if you want to send it to me in any social media after the fact, or even comment it in the comment section after this it, uh, becomes a VOD, whatever you want to do there, and I will try my best to check it out, my boy. But thank you for the five. All right. Poison types. Ooh. Yo. Yo. Dude, that's insane. That is actually insane i love a good red shiny i love a good red shiny as much as the next guy that's gorgeous yo skaroopy's really good too can you just type in bug type tier list and go to recent i have no idea what any of does are thank you so much luna thank you again pokemon boy thank you guys so 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 much i no, but rotom's love your videos you always you. make laugh I think that my favorite shiny is Mega Gardevoir or Mega Gallade. What do you think? I'd probably say I'd pick... I'd put Gardevoir, I think, over Gallade, but they're both great. They really are fantastic. They really, really are. I don't hate the Rotom. I just... I just feel like... This red and the way this red is shaded is leaps and bounds better than the way they did the Rotom red. It's similar to the Gyarados. Like, I love the Gyarados red. I love what they did with Sand Slash. Duskull's red is fantastic. The Rotoms are just kind of meh. You know? No disrespect to Game Boy Luke, of course. We love him. We absolutely stand GBL. He's the best. Come on now. Okay. Next up, ground types. Ground types. Okay. It's got to be Garchomp, right, guys? Right? No! Absolutely not. Gibble's on point. I like Gibble. Ooh, the Gliscor. Oh my god. Hyperior is so sick. Gliscor is right there, though. Gliscor, he's looking very cool. That baby blue with the black wings. Yeah, we gotta go Gliscor. Gliscor looking fire. Flying types. Okay. Vespaquin, very cool. I would say Honchcrow. Very cool. I would say Yan Mega. Oh my god, that's OP, dude. Sheesh. Yan Mega's kind of speaking to me. Drifloon's pretty sick too. I do like the gold and the blue. I really like Honchkrow, man. Dude, I've picked a lot of pink shinies. I'm noticing that. It's really cool once we see the whole list, what colors are going to be like favored the most. I'm gonna go Yan Mega here. I think Yan Mega, from the green and the and the red to the blue and the pinkish, I think that is fantastic. I think that is so cool. I love that. Okay, psychic types. Yo, the Gallade is sick. Speaking of Gallade, so the three, the trio over here, they're they're pretty cool. I like that their head pieces are all different colors and their bodies are just yellow. Um, Bronzor. Roselli is pretty sick, actually. Dude, this is a tough one because the, the Bronzong and the Bronzor are like Christmas green, which is gorgeous. And you guys know I love Christmas. I'm a big Christmas guy. I can recite the SpongeBob Christmas song just like that. It's shaping up to be a wonderful holiday. I won't do it. I won't do it. But I could. Cresselia is really good. Gallade's really good. You know, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Bronzo uh, Bronzong here, only because I feel like that green is probably the nicest green on the board so far. I know Bronzong's not a great Pokemon, but if we're just looking at the coloring, 
Bronzong Shiny is crazy. It's so good, dude. It's literally so good. Bug types. Okay. So we have Delele. Whoop. We got Combi. We got all these little Burmies and Wormadams. I feel like Cricketot is pretty... Is pretty solid. My gut's telling me just pick Skaroopy. <laughs> Skaroopy does look the best out of all these. Unless what we do is we go Yan Mega for Bug, and then for here... Yeah, let's do this, actually. Let's go Honchkrow here, and then Yan Mega. I like that. Motham Solos? I mean, he's he's okay. He's okay. Rock types. Yo, it's literally me! <laughs> Would I be simply remiss to not pick me? Nah, you gotta go with the red boy here. Rampardos is crazy. That red is... That is a gorgeous red. It really is. Ghost types. Giratina? I did not even realize in my brain how beautiful that shiny is. The blue spikes. Now, we'll probably we'll probably save Giratina though for the legendary round. I would say Spirit Tomb. Going from the purple and the green to the blue and the pink is is sick. I would say I would say we go Spirit Tomb here. And I'm not even a huge Spirit Tomb fan, by the way. But that shiny is very cool. And it kind of reminds me of Ghastly Shiny, which is dope. Now, Dragon type. Yeah, we'll save we'll save Giratina for the legendary slot. Here, honestly. Oh, yo, Dialga. What the fuck is this? Is that is that like primal Dialga? What is that? The regular Dialga shiny is actually really cool. I like how it goes from blue to a baby blue. Gibble's really cute. I like the yellow belly. Um. Gabite's yeah, blue. Why why did they Like why did they do that with Garchomp? It's one of the coolest Pokémon ever. I don't understand. All right, I'm going to go with Dialga for the dragons. It's two legendaries in a row. Dark type, we're gonna go with. Ah, oh, boy. All right, let's do this. Let's go Spirit Tomb for Dark type, and we're gonna change the Ghost type. I'm thinking. I know I just took five minutes to say how Rotom's shiny's mid. I'm thinking either Rotom or Drifloon. I think I gotta go Drifloon. I gotta go Drifloon. Okay. Steel types. Steel types. Steel types. Steel types. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do here. A lot of moving around in Gen 4. But that's okay. We're gonna go Bronzong here and change this to Cresselia. So Cresselia is becoming Psychic, and Bronzong is becoming Steel. Love that. W switch. Fairy types. We either have Mime Jr. or Hoga Kiss's sick version. I I don't want to pick Mr. Mime and Mime Jr., but there's not a lot of fairy choices. That's the issue. <laughs> there's just not a lot of fairies, dude. Okay. Starters. These are these are not good. What did they do in Gen 4? I'm telling you, man. What did they do? I, I guess Empoleon? This is the weakest set of starter shinies by far. So far, at least. This is, this is a travesty. I would say... Monferno is probably the best monkey. Empoleon's probably the best shiny... Uh, on the Pip-Up line, and then I guess Turtwig, which is hilarious. It goes Turtwig, Monferno, and Empoleon. I'll go Empoleon here. I'm not, I'm not wowed by it. It's kind of just like the lesser of all the evils. Like, they just, they don't do it for me. Deeper, thank you, buddy, for the 10, man. Thank you so much. Gimmick form. Oh, that Garchomp is sick. Yeah, we'll go with the pink Garchomp. They did it right with the Mega. They did it right with the Mega.
I love how they do that. They like mess up the regular version and they're like, oh, we'll make the mega really cool. Sweet. I like that. I think that's a good, I think that's a good choice. Legendary, of course. We got to go with Giratina. That is a no-brainer for me. And finally, the best shiny in Gen 4. This is always the hardest part, folks. This is always the hardest part. Lescu, another amazing stream on the Senzo channel. Thanks, dude. Also, shiny rock rough has to have a spot somewhere PLS. The blue shiny rock rough is pretty beautiful, I won't lie. I would say here. Venture. Thank you, Needle Mouse, for the dono. I'm not sure what Robot Lady said. Let me scroll up. Vinchar? Is that my new nickname? Vin Charizard. I don't know who to pick. Dude, Gen 4 just disappointed me. Across the board, man. I'd, I'd say Giratina. Probably leaning towards Giratina. Which would be our first favorite legendary. Rampardos is pretty sick. So is Lucario. I do like Honchkrow. Why does it look like you're walking? Because I am. I would say, without stressing myself out too much with the favorite Gen 4, I would probably have to go with Giratina. And I think, I think that's a solid pick. I don't think most people would disagree with that. All right, folks, that is Gen 4. We are almost halfway there, living on a prayer. How's everybody doing? Y'all having fun? Y'all having a good time? I love these streams, man. They're big commitments. They take a really long time, like the way that we do them. But they're really, really fun, man. I love hanging out with you guys. And, and I can't wait for all of you guys to send me your own lists on Twitter. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait for you guys to comment down below how you guys enjoyed. All right. We are going to Unova. Here we go, baby. All right. Normal types. Let's try picking up the pace a bit in this round. I would say, looking at all of these, the first thing that pops out to my mind is the Meloetta. The Meloetta with the hat. That Meloetta goes hard. Braviary is actually really cool, too. I do like Audino's purple. These are probably my top... My top four. The two Meloettas, the Braviary, and the... Whatever the hell this thing is called. I always forget this thing's name. I just said it. Audino. I would say that I would pick... Honestly, this Meloetta is cool too. For me, it would be one of the Meloettas. So I'm going to say I would pick... I would pick this Meloetta. I really like that blue, or the, rather, I really like the purple hair. Or the purple hat. The Braviary Shiny is really sick, though. It is really cool. I'm fine with that, though. I'm going to lock that in. I think, I think that's a solid pick. I think that is a solid way to start Gen 5. Okay, fire types. Yo, there's some sick fire types. Look at this dude, bro! Yo, Victini looks pale as a ghost. I would say... Embors. Oh, no. We gotta go Chandelure. Oh, my God. Chandelure is insane. Chandelure is so sick. I love those orange flames. Very Halloween. Very Halloween. But we might change that when we get to the ghost types. We, we shall see. For now, I resonate with that. Okay. Water types. Water types. Water types. I would say Jellicent's really cool. Swan is really cool. Kind of a weird group of water types, huh? Hmm. I would say... Probably this Jellicent would be my go-to. This is tough. There's nothing that, like... There's nothing that amazing here, you know? Kelio, am I crazy that I think Kel Kelio looks exactly the same? Like, if you showed me that, I wouldn't even know that's a shiny. Legitimately. Ducklet's pretty cool. Little pink duck. I do like Swana's, like, purple chest. Alola Mola looks horrible. Palpatoad's pretty cool. 
or Seismitoad looks pretty cool, rather. I would say out of all these, I would, yeah, I would, I would go with, uh, I would go with the Jellicent. It's two ghost types back to back. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen in the ghost category. Grass types. Okay. Grass types. Ooh, Amoongus looks really cool. And then he looks like a Master Ball, which is sick. Whimsicott's really cool. Superior's meh. Not really doing it for me. Don't really love Lilligant. Um, yeah, Among Us with the purple is kind of fire. Kind of fire. I do like the pink Verizion. The pink Verizion's not bad, actually. Oh, this is so hard, dude. Servine's blue and orange is exquisite. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Char, thank you so much for the two, buddy. What's going on, dude? I think just based on colors, I'd have to go Amoongus here. I really like the purple. I do like the pink, though, in Verizion. Yeah, I like the pink and Verizion. I'm going Verizion. Electric types. Okay. Yo, Galvantula's sick. Galvantula's really cool. What up, Pyvims? Yo! Char, what up, dude? Galvantula's really cool, and Electros is really cool. So is Amolga. I kind of really like Amolga, too, actually. Zepstrika's purple is really nice. Stunfisk actually has a very cool shiny, but I just, I cannot... I cannot pick Stunfisk. I just can't. Electros' is green is really pretty. Zekrom looks too similar. He's just like a lighter black. Which is cool. I really like the dark yellow Galvantula. That's actually very clean. But I gotta give it to Electros. That green is actually gorgeous. The more that I'm looking at it. That's probably my favorite out of all these. Ah, maybe Voltorb hasn't beat. And maybe Raikou. Voltorb, Raikou, Electros are definitely my favorite in this list. Okay, Ice types. <laughs> Yo, the Curum's sick. I gotta go Curum. I gotta go Curum and I'm not even gonna think about it. The Curum is actually insane, dude. Because I love, it is, again, it's similar. But the purple ice as opposed to the baby blue ice. Fantastic. Okay, fighting. So now we could go Embor if we wanted to. Um, Salk and Throw don't look very different. Scraggy and Scrafty. I don't love the green. Yeah, Embor's pretty sick. We might have to go Embor for the. Oh, I like Mian Shao too. Mian Shao's kind of, kind of flames. And Kelder, the Kelder line's not bad. I have a feeling what we're going to end up doing is putting Embor here. Now for fighting, we can go Mien Shao, And then once we get to Ghost, we'll put the Chandelure. That's what I think we're going to do. I like that. I'm confident with that. Poison types. Okay, perfect. Now for poison types, we can go with Amoongus. Doom, 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 doom. That was my best impression of the Amoongus song. I feel like that's good. Ground types. Oh my god, he's so sick, right? He's so sick! I love him! I aspire to be that cool one day. If I'm ever this cool, if I'm ever this cool as freaking Crocodile, I've peaked. I've literally peaked. Come on now. Fantastic. Flying types. Lord knows there's a lot of them in Gen 5. All right. Now I think we go Braviary. Archaeops looks way too similar. Yeah, now now I think now I think it's Braviary time. That blue is too beautiful to leave behind, dude. It's way too beautiful to leave behind. Okay, Psychic types. Sigalith is really cool. I really like Reuniclus. I like Muna too, actually. Or not Muna. What's the evolved form of Muna, chat? Aiden, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Enjoy the emojis, buddy. Musharna, Musharna. Okay, I'm gonna go with Sigilyph here. I don't know. I like his tropical vibe. He's just giving me vacation holiday vibes. And I love that. 
Bug types. Yo, Genesect. Genesect, Genesect, Genesect. Many, many claps. Many, many claps. Rock types. Okay. Ooh, Gigalith is crazy. Gigalith is crazy. Yo! Yo! Gigalith might win. Someone brought up Shiny Gigalith earlier. You are not wrong. That is insane. That is gorgeous. We gotta keep it moving. We got that's too good. Okay, here. Oh, here's why I'm stressed. Here's why I'm stressed. Because I want to pick Chandelure, but I'm not even gonna lie. Call for Grigus Shiny is insane. Call for Grigus Shiny is so sick. Bolurk's really cool too. The ghost types are actually wild. I feel like. Looking at them side by side. We ended up changing Chandelure. We changed Chandelure to Embor. Ours. We're out here. Uh, yeah, you know what? You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Changing Embor back to Chandelure. Whoa. Back to Chandelure. Why, why are you all highlighted? Stop. There we go. Okay. Chandelure is going to be our fire. Our ghost is going to be Kofagrigus. And our starter is most likely going to be Embor. That's how I think we're going to go about it. That's the plan. Dragon. What you got? Oh my god. Haxor is so cool. Oh my god, bro. This is a hard round. There are a lot of of good freaking shinies here. Yeah, Haxorus is kind of insane. Hydragon's not bad either. He looks like the Incredible Hulk. Dude. <laughs> Dragon D's nuts. This is tricky. I'd probably pick Curum if we haven't already picked Curum, but yeah, we gotta go Haxorus. He's just too cool. The red spikes on the side of his mouth, bananas, bananas. Dark type. Okay, cool. Now, now when we're picking a dark type, we can go with either the Hydragon. Zorark's pretty insane. Yo, Zoro was even cooler though, arguably. Bruh. I'm conflicted. Okay. I'm gonna say... I would pick... Yo, Lipard's fire too, though. There's so many good ones, man. I would say Zorark. That's... Th yo, a lot of purple in Gen, four, uh, Gen 5. A lot of purple. I'm confident with that pick. I'm confident with that pick. Steel types. Steel types. This... This right here is gonna be... My boy, I'm forgetting his name, Excadrill. He looks amazing in red and blue. I love that. He's Pokemon red and blue, dude. He vibing. He a W. Fairy. Okay. Um. You know what? The Evolve form is really badass. It looks evil. I like that. I'm going to rock with the, with the Whimsicott. With the Whim Boy. I love it. Starter. Okay, now... Now we can go Embor. Glad we did all that switcherooski. Beautiful. Gimmick form, there's only two. There's Audino, and there's this giant trash heap, literally. Um, I feel like Mega Audino Shiny looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same, right? Let me, let me pull that up. I feel like they're so, they're so similar. I guess he has more of a yellow belly? Oh, he has less pink. He has less pink. He has more yellow and less pink. Oh, they're basically identical, dude. And it has yellow eyes instead of pink eyes. And it's blue as opposed to... You know what? I'll, I'll go with the Audino. 
The Garbodor is... It's weak, dude. It's weak. Who are we picking for legendary? Did we already talk about this? Oh, God. This is rough, man. I'd say... My gut feeling for legendary is leaning towards Genesect, honestly. So if we did that, we'd have to... Oh, dude, Crustle's so cool. How did I overlook that? You know what? Easily. This is what we're going to do. Crustle is going to replace Genesect. Genesect becomes our shiny legendary. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. And now for our favorite Gen 5 shiny. You know what, man? There's three that I'm leaning towards. There's three. Gigalith. Genesect. And Curum, believe it or not. I really like Shiny Curum. I would say, based on the color alone, the combination of color, I gotta give it to Gigalith. I gotta give it to Gigalith. Gigalith is... Fantastic. My friends, we are officially halfway there. Living on a prayer, baby. How we all feeling? How we all feeling? I'm going to very quickly run upstairs and grab some water. We're going to come back and we're going to finish off the, le the rest of the grid. And then we're going to take care of all the extra stuff down here, which is going to be very fun as well. So BRB, get some snacks, report back in about a minute and a half, and we're going to keep it moving. Love you guys. BRB.
All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to begin ranking Generation 6. As you guys can see, we have done Gens 1 through 5. And so far, the winners of each round are Shiny Charizard, Shiny Meryl, Metagross, Giratina, and Gigalith. The squad is looking beautiful. So let's jump into Gen 6, which, by the way, has a lot of really, really good shinies. So I am personally very excited for this round. Let's begin. Okay. Normal shinies. I would say my gut is telling me to pick the shiny... The shiny, uh, what's the evolved form of Litleo? Pidgeot looks pretty good. The Mega Pidgeot, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, no, he's amazing. We're going with him. Oh my god. Yo, Heliolisk in the red bodysuit? Bro? I love when I'm focused on one. I was looking at the Pyroar, and then all of a sudden my brain goes, No, you dummy, look at that Heliolisk. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. That's a great first pick. Moving on to the fire types. Okay. Talonflame, pretty cool. Ooh, I'd say the Volcanion is insane, dude. Fennekin's actually really dope as well. I'd probably pick that for the starter, honestly. I'd probably pick that for the starter. I'd say out of all of these, I would lean towards... Charizard X is okay. I don't love the green. I kind of like the Talonflame, man. The Town Flame with the lighter color scheme is very cool. Um, it's tricky, man, because I have to see the rest of the. St oh no, Greninja! Greninja's gonna win the starter, so I can pick one of the foxes. So I would pick. I would pick the little lad. I would pick the little lad who loves berries and cream, dude. That silver with the red, excellent. Ex I love that. I literally love that so much. Y'all can say it's an L. I believe that that is a W. Water types. <laughs> Yo! My dude, Greninja. All right, Greninja, we're going to save for the starter round. We know he's going to be the best starter. He might even win the entire generation. I would say, excluding Greninja, am I insane to think Barbacle goes dummy? Is that crazy, chat? Launcher's not bad either. Not bad either. Hey, Smackjack, thank you, buddy. Yeah, Del Fox is awesome. Del Fox deserves more love. For my favorite shiny line ever, the Del Fox line. Dude, I I think I'm going with Barbacle. Which might be an insane take. I kind of like Mega Slowbro, though. I like how he's purple and he's in the gold. The gold creature the gold shell yeah i'm gonna go slow bro here i like that pick that pick in my opinion is very outside the box i like that a lot <clears throat> solid pick okay grass types so for the grass types oh my god oh my god trevenant trevenant Say it with me, chat. I want you guys to, whatever device you're watching this on, if it's a tablet, a phone, if it's a computer, put it down, take a step back, and just say it with me. Three, two, one, Trevenant. 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 Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Pokemon Boy, thank you for the five. Moving on to the electric types. Uh, okay, I... So here's, here's, the, here's the awkward thing, right? Here's the awkward thing. Heliolisk is the best here, right? Beat this team over Quill, Meows Karata, Dusknoor, Swalot, Obstagoon, and Barristic in the speed of Arceus. Yo, that is a... Team, if I've ever heard one, my boy. Menacing. We could go Ampharos. We could go Ampharos here. It is a very beautiful shiny. I would say... 
The Dene's okay. I would say there's nothing here that I would swap out for the normal type. So with that being said, I can't move Heliolisk to here. So I will go with the Ampharos. I will go with the Ampharos there. I think that's good. Ice types. Okay. We already picked Glalie. We already picked Obama Snow. I would say... I would say... We can pick Glalie here because in my opinion, the Glalie is better by far than all of these. And to change the Glalie here, I would say we either alter in Sfeel or... I know I was hating on the reg ice. I've been letting it marinate. Marinate, however you say it. I've been I've been thinking on it the entire stream. He's kind of fire. He's kind of fire. But I will go with Sfeel. I'll go with Sfeel there. I feel confident about that. And then I'm going to make this Mega Glalie. That's how we're going to do it. Fighting types. Okay. I would say... Oh, gotta go Halucha. Gotta go Halucha. Halucha's so sick. Bro, that shiny, he goes from his colorful, in your face, check out all of my amazing rainbow colors to, yo, now I'm stealth mode. You can't mess with me. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. Come on. Pokemon boy with another two. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rhyperior versus Flygon? Probably Flygon. But it would be a close matchup. Just asking who wins this fight, Rhyperior versus Flygo. Okay, here we're gonna have to make another switch. Mega Beedrill easily wins out of all the... You know what? Mega Venusaur is kind of insane. And then we don't have to switch anything. Because what I was thinking about doing was making the Gen 1 bug type Venomoth. And then making this Mega Beedrill. Or I could just give this to Mega Venusaur. Mega Gengar, we already picked. Dragology. Uh, I'll say it again. Dragology. Uh, it's not. It's not the best. It's not the best. I'd say, you know what? Let's rock out with the Venusaur. I like Venusaur. I love the yellow and the orange plants. That looks awesome. Ground types. Oh my god. God! Bro. Bro. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. We might swap out Zygarde for the legendary box and put Grout on here. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Moving on to flying types. Holy crap, there's a lot. Okay. Um, Remember, we're trying to pick Pokemon that we haven't picked already. I don't know why Talonflame gets me so excited. I, Talonflame, I feel like, looks really cool. There's something about Talonflame. Salamence, eh. Eh. Noivern's sick. Noivern's really cool. Honestly, the Pidgeot's really cool. The Rayquaze is crazy. Oh my god. Pinsir's not bad either. I would say for this, we'd go... None of you are feeling Talonflame, huh? That's very interesting to me. That's very, very interesting to me. Because I'm, I'm leaning towards Talonflame. But just looking at colors, yeah, Noi Noivern... Let me get another... I just want to see another look of shiny Noivern. Is that his hair around? Oh, yeah, no, dude. Yeah, shiny Noivern wins it. I need to just get a little bit of a, a, a bit bigger visual. That's excellent. Psychic types. Okay. Psychic types. For this, I would say... We already picked Mewtwo. We already picked Fennekin. Oh, no. We didn't pick Delphox. So we could go Delphox here. Gardevoir is insane, though. Gardevoir is insane. I like the black dress. I would say Gardevoir here. Alakazam's not bad either. This is a very... This is a compelling round. 
I would say Art of War. I love the blue hair followed by the black dress. It's a good look on her, man. She pulls it off well. Bug types. See, like all the butterflies are eh. Scizor, eh. I think this is where we make a change. Gotta go Mega Beedrill, then come back to Bug in Gen 1 and go Venomoth. And that right there is a good trade-off, I believe. Because Beedrill is in a league of his own compared to all these other Pokemon. Mega Heracross, while he has a great color, I will just never forgive Game Freak for what they did with Mega Heracross. He is just... He is the ugliest little rat I've ever seen in all my days. He's just not for me. He's just not for me. Moving on to the Rock Boys. Oh my god. Are you... Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? That is fantastic. That blue and white, dude, he might be the best shiny in this generation. Yo, Gen 6 really snapped. They really snapped. Thank you, Pokemon boy. Moltres versus Zapdos and ho -Oh versus Mewtwo. These matchups are wild, my dude. Okay, this is Ghost now. Yo. Gorgeist is the name, right? I think we go Gorgeist here. Because Trevenant's obviously the goat there. But if we remove Trevenant from grass, I guess they're pretty interchangeable, to be honest. We already picked Gengar, so we can't pick Gengar again. We're doing no repeats. Um, the swords, nah, they're they're okay. I would say I really I like the I like the Gorgeist, not the Pumpkaboo. I like the Gorgeist here. I really like the Gorgeist here. He is fantastic. Dragons! Dragon, dragon, the, the dragon, dragon ball Z. Okay. Um. It's tricky, man. This is very tricky. I feel like I've never even seen shiny Mega Rayquaza. That's bananas. I'd say, honestly, what we do is. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap out ground for the Groudon here. Because we hadn't used Groudon yet. Then what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll pick the Zygarde. Zygarde as the dragon. I think that... That is the way to go. That is the way to go for sure. I think that's, I think that's a W. I think that's a W. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Next up, Dark type. I'm trying so hard to save Greninja for starters. What's up, Sarah? How's it going? Who else would we pick here? It gets so hard towards the bottom because there's starting to be like repeats in different forms and whatnot. Yveltal is pretty sick. Veltal is pretty sick. We already picked Sharpedo, so we can't pick Mega Sharpedo. Even though in the last stream, too, people love Mega Sharpedo. He's definitely not for me. He's definitely not for me. Um. We, pick, we haven't picked Titar yet, but his shiny's fucking. Eh. His shiny's mid. We could pick a different starter. No, we got it. Whoa! That was crazy. No, we gotta put Greninja as the starter. Absol is not terrible, but it's not great. We could change the gimmick form here, which will then allow us to pick the Sableye. Hmm. We could change this to Banette. Yeah, I kind of like Banette. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Banette here, Mega Banette. Then here, I'm gonna go Sableye. I like that. I like that a lot. That's solid. Steel types. Okay. So we can pick Mawile, we can pick Agron, we can pick the Scizor. Oh, God, man. See, these are all kinda, can't pick Lucario, already picked it. 
if you guys see it on the board already, we can't pick it again unless we move some stuff around. That's the way that we're going about it. Um, yo, we have 10,000 views. Thank you guys so much, man. The bloody sword. I just feel like the sword is boring. Steelix, we already picked. Can't do that. I'd say... I'd say Mawile is pretty cool. I like the red. I'd go Mawile there. For fairy types... Oh, dude. Sylveon's so good. Oh my god. Yveltal is so good. This is a tricky round, folks. This is a tricky round. Hmm... I think I gotta go Sylveon, though. Deancey's pretty. Pitchforks are coming out. Y'all gotta stay with me. Y'all gotta stay with me. What is the difference between this Xerneas and this Xerneas, though? Barbank actually looks great, too. I'm going Sylveon. I'm going with my gut. I love me some Sylveon, dude. Okay, starter. No debate. It's Greninja. Greninja, Greninja, Greninja. I'm telling you, Greninja's gonna win this entire row. He's gonna do it. Gimmick form. Okay, so what the hell haven't we picked already? Because now we're just getting into territory where we've picked a lot of these Pokemon already. So we're going to have to settle a little bit. I'd say we haven't picked Pidgeot yet. So we could go Pidgeot. We haven't picked Deancey. Could go Deancey. We haven't picked Sceptile. Oh, we could go Mega Sceptile. Yeah, you know what? Mega Sceptile. The Christmas tree is too strong. The blue Christmas tree is too strong. I love it. I love it. Legendary. Okay. Oh my god! Look at the fully perfect form Zygarde. I'll tell you right now, Zygarde's winning the legendary slot. We have to change the dragon now. Is there a rock substitution we can do here? I'd say for rock, let's go the Barbacle. Or whatever the hell that Pokemon's name is. Then for Dragon, we go this guy. Then for the Legendary, we're able to use the Serpent here. The Zygarde. That to me all works. That to me, that, that feels good. That feels good. It feels right. And now we have to pick our favorite Shiny. From all the slots in Gen 6. It should come as to no surprise to anybody... Who we're going to select here, it's Greninja. Greninja is one of the most perfect shiny Pokemon ever. The black, the red, the little baby blue accents. He's, he's perfect, dude. Come on. Get on board the Greninja train or, or get hit by the train. I'm crazy. They call me Vincenzo. Everybody get ready for Generation 7! Generation 7, everybody! Okay. Gen 7. Are there some good shinies in Gen 7? I hope so. Fingers crossed. Get Kuga over everything. Let's go, Ren. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Gen 7 normal types. Let's take a gander here. Oh my god, Toucanon looks beautiful. Standouts, Toucanon. Beware. The Dragon Boy. But I think based on Definitely just... Everything. Just the beak alone, we're going to Toucanon. We are going to Toucanon. When we get to the flying types, I hope there's some good flying types because it's probably going to go to Toucanon as well and we're going to have to do some switching. Fire types. Oh, dude. Come on, it's Spider Gwen. It's Spider... Here's the deal. Incineroar is beautiful, but maybe we'll save him for the starter slot. Spider Gwen is the epitome of a beautiful looking shiny. A beautiful looking shiny. I love that. Salazzle, excellent. And it's such a rare shiny too, so it's really, really cool. I... I adore that. I really do. Okay, water types. Water types. Oh, we got Ash Greninja now. Okay. I would say Galissapod is so cool. Araquanid is so cool. 
I'd say even the wishy-washy school form is insane. Yo, Wimapod goes hard. Yo, Tapu Fini, bro! Tapu Fini looks so sick. Oh, this is tough, man. Tapu Fini goes hard in the paint, chat. Yeah, we could save Galissapod for the bug typing. I agree with that sentiment. I would say... I would say Tapu Fini, man. Tapu Fini! Let's go! Thank you, Ren. Yo, Ren's been super chatting the whole stream. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Grass types. Grass types. Cartana, Alolan Executor. Yo, Delmize is actually insane. Dude, this is tough. Lorantis, Lorantis is pretty crazy. I like Lorantis. I really like I really like uh Serena. Serena looks really cool with the pink. The CGI is badass. Yeah, the Tapu Vinny. <laughs> Tapu Vinny, let's go! Honestly, the 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 Lorantis, that's hard to say. Lorantis is bananas. I really like that. I really like that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Pokemon boy. All right. I would say I'm going to go Lorantis. That color scheme is just very unique. Bro, it's like green, green, green. Kind of green. Pink. White and red. Green. Love the grass type section. Okay. Electric. Dude, charge a bug is sick. Charge. Oh, dude, this is a stacked. Look how stacked this is. Charge a bug. You got Zerora, right? Zerora, that's how you say. Or yeah, Zerora. You got the Ultra Beast over here looking awesome. Oh god, I'm conflicted. It's gotta be Zerora, right? Look at that hairline. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got. I gotta go Zerora. It goes too dummy. It goes too dummy. Which row has the most color diversity? I think the normal types. Just taking a quick gander. I feel like that was a good pick. Okay. Ice types. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. Nine tails. Gotta go. Fairy nine tails. Types are immune to electric dragon. Indeed. Indeed. Fighting types. Okay. Oh my god, Buzzwool's crazy. I would say... I, dude, call me a simple guy. Beware looks awesome. When you said it was over, you shot right through my heart. Why you let these hoes tear what we had right apart? Ooh, I was so mad. Name the song, chat. Name the song. Let's see if y'all know your music. Name the song. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it first? I'm looking, chat. I'm looking. Come on, someone's gotta know. Thank you, cash tie. Cash tie? Hash tie. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yo, chat, you should be ashamed of yourself. You gotta listen to music, man. You gotta listen to music more. Let's go, Ren! Thank you, Ren. All right, the fighting type round, I, I honestly feel like it should go to beware. I feel like it should go to beware. Poison types. Okay, for point. Oh my god, bro. Naganadel, right? Naganadel's sick. Naganadel's so cool with the yellow and the black color scheme. Dude, the bumblebee aesthetic. Yeah, Naganadel. We gotta do it to him. We gotta do it to him, chat. All right, ground types. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually really like the gray sand. I'm gonna give it to the to the palo, palo sand, right? Beware by Big Sean. Big Sean. I love the way she says Sean. Big Sean. Grab a cup of coffee for Big Sean, all right? Yeah, palo sand. Palo sand takes this. I mean, Mudsdale's pretty cool too, but I would say I would say palo sand. I really like the the color scheme. Flying types. Okay. Flying types. Big Sean? Nah, Big Chenzo. Dad's home. Thank you for the five. Yo, seriously, guys, all the super chats that have been sent in today, thank you from the bottom of my Big heart, Sean, man. 
Not big, Senzo. Why don't they say Chenzo? Next, next person that super chats my name, try spelling it C-H-E-N-Z-O. I'm just curious if she'll actually say Chenzo properly. By the way, again, thank you guys for all the love. Like I said, my, my main goal with streams is to go live once a week. At the bare minimum, it's going to be on the weeks that I don't upload a long video. So this week, there'll be a stream. Next week, there'll be a VOD. Week after that, stream. Next week, VOD. Next week, stream. Next week, VOD. But I would love to do at least one stream a week, so... That would be awesome. Leo Italian Ice, I'm getting with my buddy Nikki later. I'm very excited. Okay, here I'm gonna pick two cannon. Because two cannon is objectively the best flying type there. Hey Char, thank you, buddy. And then here we're gonna change this to Beware. And then we're gonna change the fighting type to the Ultra Beast. I think that's such a cooler design than her regular design. I'm going with that. All day, every day, dude. All, that was a lot of changing, but I feel like that worked out great. I feel like that worked out real great. Okay. W take? Let's go, baby! Let's go! All right. Psychic types. Psychic types. Hmm. Oh, man. This is tricky. Honestly? Chinzo. There it is! All right, so... If we spell my name wrong, she'll say my name right. That is a trade-off that we are willing to do, chat. Yo, let's go, Ren. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Dude, by the way, last time I did a stream like this, chat, the original one, it went crazy viral, like, after the fact. So if you're watching this VOD after it was live, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know, by the way, please, guys, comment down below what do you guys want me to stream next. Because you guys really like the ranking stuff, which is really cool. As far as psychic types, man... I would say... I would say Luna, Lunala is really cool. Honestly, Necrozma... The blue over the black is actually insane. Is that a mid-take? I also really like Bruxish. I really like Bruxish, dude. Yo, I just got a shiny Gyarados and shiny Magikarp in the same outbreak in Arceus. Let's go! Am I insane if I picked Bruxish? Pokemon's terrible, but the shiny's awesome. I don't know what to pick. None of these are really, like, screaming to me. None of these are screaming out. Bruxish does look like a pizza. Uh, I don't know what to do. Tapu, Tapu, uh, Lele is not bad though. You know what? I'm gonna go Tapu Lele. I'm gonna go Tapu Lele. I like the Tapu. Pokemon boy, thank you, buddy. Okay, here we go. This is Bug. For Bug, we're going with the Galissapod. That goes dummy hard. For Rock, we're gonna. Oh my God! He's the coolest thing ever. He's the coolest thing ever. He's so cool. Yo, thank you so much, the schnoz, my dude. Tweet me. If you guys make one of these, tweet it to me, at Vinny. Okay. Ghost types. Ghost types. Bro. Bro. Let me tell you something right now. Try doing the tier list for all the Pokemon. Let me tell you something right now. Mimikyu might take the W in Gen 7. Mimikyu might take the W in Gen 7. I'll say it a third time. Mimikyu might take the dub. It just very well might. It just very well might. What is this? The dragon types? For dragon... Would it be a travesty to pick the Alolan Zekutor? I actually love the Alolan Zekutor. We can't pick the Zygarde. The dragon, the fighting dragon, not for me. I know Bob loves it. We already picked the Naganadel. Guzzlord's pretty cool. Guzzlord's pretty cool. But I would almost like to keep it more simple, and I would say I like how Alolan Zekutor has red hair. I resonate with that. Yo, imagine if you had a PC box filled with all these Pokemon. That'd be crazy. Dark type, we're gonna go with... I'd say dark type, we go with... Hmm. What are the starters looking like? 
Yeah, no, for starter, we gotta go Incineroar. So for Dark type, now we can go Guzzlord. Okay. Now, Steel types. Celesteel looks exactly the same. Stack attack is not bad. Stack attack is not bad. Yo, the Sand Slash is pretty... It's so similar, but it's... I, I do like the darker blue. I do like the darker blue there. Mel Metal, eh. Diglett, eh. I feel like Celesteel is cool. Honestly, Solgaleo is not horrible. It's just, it's very red. It's very red. Yeah, the, the Magirna Ultra Ball look is, is pretty cool. I would say I would go with... Yeah, I would say Solgaleo. Just because it is so different, it really stands out. It pops. Fairy types. Okay, for fairy types, we will go with... Why is this different than this? They're the same thing. Just one Mimikyu has a broken neck. We already picked Mimikyu. Is there a different ghost type we could pick here? Let's do this. Let's go Decidueye for the ghost type. And then for the fairy type, we'll go with Mimikyu. I like that. Starter. We already know that's Incineroar. The white and the red, it's fantastic. Sharif, I'm so glad you're enjoying the stream. I hope you're all enjoying the stream. Gimmick form. You have the longest legs. You need to be a, a model. You just have to be a model. I'd say gimmick form, what we'll do here. You know what? Let's change the shiny here to Drompa. And then for gimmick form, we go with the executor. I think that is a W. Hey, what's up, Sky? We're not Sky. Cy Cyclone? Cyclone. What's going on? I see you always moderating Shady's uh, streams. Okay, Legendary. Legendary. I would say for me... Dude, I mean, none of these are really like... None of these are really insane. I'm shocked you guys like this Necrozma that much. Maybe it's because I've never seen it in-game. But just looking at the photo, it's not cool. In my opinion. Um, I could go Lunala here. The Lunala is actually very cool with the red. I do like that. I'm honestly tempted to pick Tapu Fini. I really like Tapu Fini. But I will go Necrozma here. I clearly like the, the red legendaries. And then for the best one in Gen 7. The best shiny in Gen 7. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. Hmm. You know what? Dude, I'm tempted to go. I'll, t I'll, t I'll walk you guys through my brain right now. I am tempted to go Salazzle. I am tempted to go Lycanroc. I am tempted to go Zeraora. I think in my gut, in my heart of hearts, I gotta go with Lycanroc. Lycanroc is so cool, and I feel like he fits in great with the rest of the squad here. And my friends, that is Gen 7. We got Gen 8, we got Gen 9, and then we have all of our favorites. That is the plan. Also, I'm about to hit 10,000 steps, which is a major W. Yo, Meryl's amazing. Do not hate on Meryl. Okay, here we go. Gen 8. It's great. Yo, that Eevee's hilarious. What the hell? Okay. Shiny normal type. We are going to give this to... Hmm. This is really hard. Obstagoon, I feel like the colors don't mesh too well. 
I like the little Zorua. I kind of like that better than the Zorark. Yo, horses. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the five. I'd say I'd go Zorua. I'd go with the little lad. I like his blue flames. That's very cool. Moving on to fire. For fire, I would say... Who would we pick for fire? Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are in my top three out of all games. Wow! They really are great games. Dude, I gotta replay them. Maybe sooner than you think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm still planning things behind the scenes. All right. There's still some things I gotta figure out. But it's... Listen, it's possible... It's possible we might be taking a trip to Alola pretty soon. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy doing a thing. Anyway, I don't know which shiny to pick here, to be honest. The, the, this is like the worst set of fire shinies I've ever seen on this list. I would say out of all of them... I, I guess... I guess Arcanine? Maybe I'll go... Wait, let me see Typhlosion. What does shiny Hisui and Typhlosion look like? He kind of looks exactly the same, so I literally just can't... I can't pick him. Bro, these are rough, man. Can't pick the Charizard. I guess I'll choose... Yeah, I guess I'll go with the Arcanine. Just to be clear, I did not want to pick the Arcanine. He's just like the least ass pick out of all of those, I guess. <laughs> all right, water types. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I would say, oh my God, Inteleon is sick. I really like Cramorant. Um, the blue Urshifu is really cool. Dracovish is crazy. What? Yo, Dracovish is nuts. That is epic. Yeah, Bastu Legion's really cool. There's a lot of great ones here. Choodle is like such a lime green. I would say honestly, out of all of these, I would go, I would go Dracovish. I really like that design. I think it's super unique. Super unique. For grass types, I would say. Hmm. This does evolve again, huh? Right? This evolves into this, right, chat? Because we got one of these in Radical Red, but I'm pretty sure people told me that it was fully evolved. But this is the final Evo. Correct? Or is this the final Evo? They're just different? They're different? Wait, so does the apple evolve into this or this? No, dude! Yo, you learn something new every day. Every day that goes by, you learn something new. By the way, another thing that's new, tomorrow I'm running a 15k. It's gonna be a journey, chat. It's gonna be a journey. Indeed. Okay. What do I pick here? I would say what I would choose is probably the electrode, honestly. And we already we picked Voltorb, so we could pick the electrode. This is really cute though, that you usually they're red and now it's green. Hey, what's up, Joseph? Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the electrode. I dude. All of these are like gray. That's actually so interesting, huh? That's crazy. What's up, dude? All right, electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Okay, for electric, we're going to pick... Oh, God. Um... Conchurchin's not bad. You know what? I feel like... I feel like I want to go Lilligant here, and then here I want to go Electrode. That feels better. That feels better in my in my heart and soul. Heart and soul. I fell in love with you, heart and soul. It's a great song, chat. I remember when Stewie and Brian sang it on Family Guy. 
Okay. Or maybe it was just Stewie. Who knows? Okay, so here is the ice types. Um... He's not bad. Darmanitan's not bad. That's Darmanitan, right? I think, though, just looking at it, you gotta go SQ. The silly little pink ice cube penguin. You love that. Joseph, thanks for becoming a member, man. Going to the fighting types. Lot of good options here. Lot of good options. What the hell's different about this shiny? He looks exactly the same. Yeah, grapple locked is crazy. Urshifu's crazy. But these are like the Dynamax forms, right? Honestly, I'd probably go. I'd probably go Zamazenta. Oh, actually? That's so cool. Wrong button. I love that the Zapdos, the Galarian Zapdos, becomes the OG Zapdos colors. That's a cool, like, lore. That's a cool gimmick. And they're very cool colors. Chat, you might say L. To me, I say that's really cool homage to the original design. I love that. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Okay, this is what? Poison? Poison. Poison, poison, poison. Okay, for poison, we're gonna go... What's up, Z1? Doing great, man. Having a great time. Ultra Instinct, you say? Love that. I am walking. I, I always find it so fascinating how whenever I walk on the walking pad, I get spammed with, are you walking right now? What else would I be doing? Just like standing here going like this? <laughs> Just like bopping my shoulders side to side? That would be silly. Do I hate Pat? I love Pat. Pat's one of my best friends. Um, as far as this, I'm leaning towards this guy. Wait, so this is a slow bro or slow poke? Because we picked mega slow bro earlier. So Ultra I don't. Instinct. I mouth. I. I mouth. I. Venusaur is hilarious. I would say yeah. For this, I would say. I guess Sneasler? Yeah. I don't know. I'm conflicted on this one. It's not Slow King, it's Slow Bro. So I would say I would say Sneasler. I like the different color palette. Have you been walking for three hours? Pretty much. I started walking, I think. Uh actually I could tell you how long I've been walking. Uh actually I can't. I think for like two two hours. Two-ish hours. We stay grinding. Okay. Ground types. For this, I would say... You're too similar. You're too similar. I'd say Ursaluna. I like the red. I like the red a lot. Flying types. Dude, I didn't even realize that Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno did that. They get their original color schemes when... Yo, the Corviknight's sick. They get their original color schemes when they're shiny. That's so freaking cool. I'm gonna go with Corviknight here. That steel look is insane. It's gorgeous. Okay, what do we got? Psychic here? For Psychic, gotta go Ore Beetle. I honestly don't even think I have to marinate on that at all. I do like the little slow poke. Oh, the Ponyta. We already picked Ponyta though. I'd pick the Ponyta if we hadn't picked it already, but Orbeetle does go hard. So we're going Orbeetle. Orbeetle's so cool. Hey, Joseph with the 20. Thank you so much, man. Oh, but here I want to pick Orbeetle. So you know what? Here we're going to go Orbeetle. Here we're going to go Rapidash. Yes. Yes. Yo, Joseph with the 20 bomb. Thank you so much. Oh my God, Kylie, you're still here. Guys, tonight Kylie is going to a dis wait, disco party. Disco party. I like Articuno. I don't know its name. Dude, Ar Articuno. There you go. That is its name, Articuno. She actually said it pretty, pretty good. Okay, Rock Boys. Bro, are you like walking whilst talking? That's crazy. I'm a crazy guy. What's actually crazy is the fact that I still have to burn another. 400 calories. No! 
I gotta take it easy today, though, because I have a huge freaking run tomorrow, man. Huge run. Um, okay, all these rock types, they're kind of mid. I guess I'll pick Klebor. I like how he turns green, similar to Scizor. Or not Scizor, sorry. Scyther. Scyther! That's the vibes. Okay, ghost type. No man with the 50! Brother! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you. Yo, double you nomad in the chat. Double you nomad in the chat. Let's go, everybody. Everybody. I want to see 800 W nomads in the chat. Don't spam it. Just type it once. But nomad W in the chat. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Let's go. W nomad. The robot will read that in a moment. Give me one second, chat. messaging my boy coach chris robot lady where are you at where are you at by the way as far as the shiny ghost types i'm going Basque legion that's insane that yellow and green perfection perfection was this dragon types dragon types we are here it is here it comes bro are you like walking whilst talking that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Yo, Nomad, thank you again so much for the 50. Thank you all for saying thank you to Nomad. Hey, Vinny, just want to say thanks for all the content. I ended up watching most of your old playlist to help me grind through the brutal 16-hour shift. Keep up with the awesome content. Much love, bro. You're one of my favorite creators. Dude, thank you so much. Good luck with the rest of your work shifts. So glad that the content has been able to help you out in some way. That's fantastic, man. That is fantastic. What were you watching? Thank you so much. That was the biggest donation of the stream by far. Thank you, man. I'm going to go Dragapult here. It's a subtle change to the shiny, but I think it's a very, very beautiful shiny. I love it. Okay, here are the dark types. Dark type, we're gonna go with... Yo, the Grim Snarl is crazy, dude! Gotta go Grim Snarl there. Over here, steel types, we're gonna go with... Steel type, steel type. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I... I don't know, man. I'm conflicted. I am very conflicted. He is very cool. Berserker's kind of dope, dude. I like Zamazenta, though, too. I do like Zamazenta. I like watching you at Gay for You. I'm conflicted, man. Thank you, Toes, for the super chat. Oscar, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I feel like. I feel like I got to go Perserker there. I think that's the vibes. Dude, Generation 8 has the most unique color grid that we've done. I love it. Okay, fairies. These legit don't even look like shinies. They look exactly the same. Like, quite literally exactly the same. I would say out of all these... First, super excited for the next Cage Lock series. Woo! Second, if you're using the Nike Run Club app and you're doing a long run, I'm gonna guess it's 6.2 miles. The run tomorrow is uh, 15K. It's nine point something, which is the longest run that I've ever done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I'm excited though, man. Yeah, the Nike Run Club app, by the way, not sponsored. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm dancing, dude. I'm just dancing while we rank some Pokemon. That's my vibe. That's my vibe. I think I'm going Zacian here. Or, yeah, this is Zacian, right? I'm gonna go Zacian. He looks really freaking cool. Starter, we gotta go Inteleon. Also, the fact that Hisui and Decidueye becomes... I love when they do that! When the new form becomes one of the older previous forms, that is fantastic. Fantastic. 
W Toes in the chat. Let's go. Much love, Toes. Appreciate you, dude. All right, now this is gimmick form. Ah, oh, there's so much to choose from here. All right, gimmick form. We're gonna go with. I already picked Zapdos. I I do love this Moltres. I can't even lie. The Moltres is actually sick. Gudra's kind of cool because he is a snail, but I'm not I'm not a huge. Post multitasking is unparalleled. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Can I get a W toes in the chat? <laughs> in the chat? I feel like I'm gonna go Moltres here. That's the one that's speaking to me the most. Now, legendaries, legendaries, legendaries. What do I want to do with the legendaries? I would say... It would call me crazy. I, I just think the Zapdos is the coolest thing ever. And then what I would do is change the electric... Or no, this is fighting. I would change the fighting to... Grapple locked. I don't know why you guys don't like the Zapdos. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Bro, he's Zapdos with bigger feet and he walks around and he's fast as sin. He's incredible. Nomad again, bro. Dude, we have a dono train going on right now. Three hours into the stream. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. By the way, you might all think I'm insane, but looking at Gen, does Gen 8, looking at Gen 8, the best shiny for me, and I know there's going to be L's in the chat because now I know how you guys feel, it's Zapdos. I just feel like that is the coolest thing ever. It is, it is a callback to an already awesome Pokemon. The color scheme is on point. It's new, but it's different. It's nostalgic, but it's unique. It's not an insane take. You guys are insane, all right? W take for Chenzo, dude. And now we are here in the final countdown, Gen 9. Skip it, boop. 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 Boop. Here we go. Gen 9 normal type. All right. Oh my God. I love the little Lechonk. Oh my god, Shiny Lechonk is so cute. I'm going Shiny Lechonk. I was watching all the old Soul Links and Cage Locks. My Soul Sliver was my favorite Soul Link. I'm old school Pokemon fan. I love blue and red, yellow, and Sliver and Crystal game back on the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Hell yeah, dude. You love the classics. I respect it, man. I respect it. Hell yeah. Fire types. For fire types, we are gonna go with... Yo, the fish is crazy. What? He gets a yellow shirt and jeans? Nah, nah, I gotta go to you. The blue flame, the blue and black flame. Insanity. Insanity. Okay. Water types. Oh, okay. This is where we redeem ourselves. This... Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold it, chat. I immediately was gonna go to Walking Wake. But when I see Shiny Veluza, I get hype because of the Valkyrie moment and because of how many times we've referenced that in our content. Shiny Veluza is such a W. A Walking Wake looks incredible because it, again, it, it fits with the Suicune vibes. Veluza for Psychic, I like that. We're going Walking Wake here. We're going Walking Wake, that is excellent. Grass type. Okay, grass type, grass type, yeah, grass type. What? This is your shiny? I've never seen that before, that's insane. That's W, that's W, that's big W. Can I get some big W in chat? Can I get some big W in chat? That's crazy. That's crazy. I gotta send one message to my coach, guys. Give me one second. Yeah. 
Yo, horses, thank you, man! Train, you say? Waiting for the M. Night Shyamalama twist. Chin's O has been seated this entire time. Wow. X-Files theme plays. You're right, I have not been walking. I've been sitting and I have a green screen behind me that moves and it makes my shoulders look like I'm doing the Conor McGregor walk. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> what up, Pokemon boy? Thank you, dude. Okay, here we go. Who's fighting tonight, by the way, with the UFC? My buddy Matt was telling me about it. All right, electric to- <laughs> What the hell is this? What the hell is this little guy? <laughs> okay, it's gotta be him. Hold the phone. Iron Thorns looks insane. But I feel like we gotta give it to Belly Bowl. Belly Bolt's just too derpy to not give it to Belly Bolt. He's incredible. Ice types. Oh, this guy's sick. Oh, Stewie for sure, Ren. Stewie for... I love Stewie. Sorry, I'm back. I had to do something. No worries, Pokemon boy. All right. We're going with the little lad. His color scheme? Insane. Insane. Fighting types. Fighting types. Yo, Chinzo, who's your favorite Family Guy character? For sure, I love Stewie. Oh, dude, this is tricky, man. Coridon's crazy. Yeah, I gotta go Coridon there. I would, I'd probably pick Maridon as my favorite uh, legendary in this gen. Dude, I can't believe how much we've accomplished. When you finish this grid, it's like the most rewarding feeling ever. And then you know this could just exist forever on the channel. That people can watch, see your takes. They might change over time. It's super cool. Okay, this is Poison. Oh my god. Gotta go, gotta go with the Glamora, right? That blue is just so clean. Literally so clean. The room's cool. And Claude Sire, I, you guys know I love Claude Sire. His shiny's a little lackluster. It's just, just a little lackluster. Okay, this is ground, right? For ground, we're gonna go with... Honestly? This little lad. Bro, they did a great job with Tentacool or Toad School and Toad Scroll. They, they knocked it out of the park, man. They knocked it out of the park with that. Very, very nice. The Wooper is cute. The Wooper is cute, but I would still say the Toads got him beat. Okay, this is what? Flying? Bombardier. <laughs> we, got, we gotta go with... Bombardier. Always. Yo, Smack Jack, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. By the way, did you guys enjoy the robot? Yo, we're at 800 likes. <laughs> guys, please, please. If you do me this one favor, I'll be so happy. It'll make my day. We definitely can get to a thousand right now if everyone hits the like button. It takes two seconds. You just gotta tap it. Or use your mouse, click Last it. Last dono for me for the day. Palmot's shiny looks like it's using the Kaioken technique in game. That's actually I so like cool. I like it a lot. Kaioken! Yo, we're at 900. Keep going. Keep going, chat. We can do it. We can literally do it. We can hit 1K while we're live. That's insane. Keep going, baby. Keep going. We did it! Let's go! Yo, Vinten dudes, thank you so much. That is insane support. Literally insane support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, horses with the gifted. Let's go. Thank you, guys. All right, for psychic type, we're going to go with Veluza. Duh. Shout out to Valkyrie. Whenever you want to do it, then we fight Valkyrie. I'm down. Let's make it happen. Okay, for bug type, we're going to go with... Oh my god. Spidops is that dude. Spidops is that dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, no. For rock type, iron, iron thorns. 
He's so cool. Mecha Godzilla. Badass. Fantastic. Strong. Really, really cool. We absolutely love that. Okay. Ghost types. Ghost types. We're gonna go. I mean, my my boy, my boy Skelly. My boy Skelly looking good. He is. I do like that. Hmm. Well, Dango looks exactly the same. I'm pretty sure a lot of people on Twitter were talking about the fact that Goldango shiny is like the worst shiny ever. Fluttermane's pretty cool. I really like uh, Houndstone or Gra Graveyard. Graveyard. So awesome. I would say for this one, we're going to go... Who would my starter be? Let's go Skelly for now. Let's go Skelly for now. Let's see next. We have the dragons. Okay. For dragons, we'll go with... We'll finally go with a Salamence Pokemon. Because we haven't picked him yet, but we will go with the Iron... Oh, no, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon for sure. For this guy. Absolutely. We're not for this guy. We'll pick this guy for the dragon typing. I think that's a W. Okay, Steel types. For Steel types, let's go with... I do, I do like the Ting Lu here. King's Gambit's very cool. Have you ever rolled at the moon? Roaring Moon has. This is Dark type, by the way, not Steel. I'm gonna go with Ting Lu. I'm gonna go with Ting Lu here. I think Ting Lu is is very, 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 very cool. Very, very cool color scheme. I feel like that's a W. I feel like that's a W. Fairy types, listen, I know only really the hammer changes, but we absolutely stand Tinkaton all day, every day. We stand Tinkaton all day, every day. Actually, that was steel. Now we got fairy. For fairy, we're gonna go with, we haven't picked Gallade yet, right? So we can go with Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant's sick. I love that. I literally love that. For starters. Okay. So we already picked Skelly. I would say... I do like Meowscarada. I feel like Skelly is the is the coolest, though. No, Meow Meowscarada goes hard. I'm gonna go Meowscarada. Meowscarada there. And that's... Pokemon that I picked my Gen 9 journey with. I love that Pokemon. For the gimmick form, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go with Wug Trio. <laughs> He's so silly. For Legendary, we gotta go with Maridon. And then for the best Gen 9 Shiny. For the best Gen 9 Shiny. I would say... Oh, I'm so conflicted on this one. I really, I really like Walking Wake. I really like Walking Wake, Shiny. Coridon is beautiful, though. But so is Iron Valiant, man. I still love Veluza. I'm so attached to Veluza. It's just so simple. The pink turns green. Like it's fuck. It's it's awesome. It's freaking awesome. Um. Oh man, I this is the hardest one I've had to do. I think. Hmm. I'd say, just based on design. Not the fact that I love using Veluza all the time. I would say the best one here is Walking Wake. I would I would go Walking Wake there. That's what I would do. All right. And now I just realized we have completed all nine generations. So now what we got to do is we have to pick all of 
the best ones from each typing now. So we're gonna pick the normal all the way down to the favorites tab and figure out what our favorite shiny is and all of the favorites leading up to that. All right. This is it. This is it. This is where the fun happens. This is where the fun happens, baby. You thought you were having fun before? Here we go. Here we go. Normal. The best shiny normal type. Hmm. It's a lot of strong contenders. This is where feelings get hurt, Bob. This is where it all goes down. I would say, out of all of these normal types, I would have to give it personally to the bubblegum. I gotta give it to Ditto. The Ditto blue is just, it's perfection, dude. It's so good. And, and the thing is, you know, Ditto, Ditto is only Ditto when he's vibing. When he transforms, then he becomes the other. Wait, if you're a shiny Ditto and you transform into a, sh a Charizard, do you become a shiny Charizard? How does that work? Anyway, I love the way Ditto looks. Fire types. Fire types. Okay. Oh, that's... People were saying yeah, but now they're saying no. It'll look like the opposite, actually. Interesting. All right, so immediately my brain wants to say Camerupt. My brain wants to say Ponyta. It's it's between Ponyta and Camerupt right now. <sighs> Jeez, dude. Ponyta's so cute. Thank you, Pokemon boy. I'd say... I'd say we gotta go Camerupt. Camerupt is so, so cool, man. So cool. It's it's just it's just gorgeous. It's literally gorgeous. For water types. Oh my god, there's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, my my gut is saying just go with Gyarados. Just because of how iconic it is. Part of me wants to go Kyogre. Part of me wants to go Limoncello, the Azumarill. But I think I just, I gotta go Gyarados. Ws. Come on, chat. Y'all gotta give me Ws for that one. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Also, before we continue, really quickly, I gotta order my little McDonald's snack for post-stream. Bear with me, chat. Bear with me. Because we are gonna enjoy... Some Mickey D's. Yes, we are. And we're fitting it into our macros. Oddly enough. Which is awesome. We are becoming masters at losing weight. Okay. Here we go. It is time for the grass types. Alright, looking at all these grass types. Immediately there's one standout. Chat, put your devices down and say it with me. Three, two, one. Trevenant. We knew this from the beginning. It was Trevenant. It was always going to be Trevenant. Trevenant, Trevenant, Trevenant. That's our guy, baby. That's our guy. Now, going to the ice types. Nope, just kidding. Electric types. Okay. <laughs> Mickey D's nuts. Thank you, Ren, for the two. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> He's nuts. Okay. For here, I would say that the best... <sighs> it's tricky, man. Zero Aura is strong. Mickey D's nuts. Why did she read that twice? <laughs> I would say... Mickey D's nuts. What is going on? Why is she locked into saying that? What the hell, Ren? What kind of witchcraft did you just ensue? 
What the hell? She just read it three times. I would say, I know nobody's gonna agree with me here, but I'm leaning towards Voltorb or Raikou. I gotta go Raikou. I just think Raikou is one of the coolest shinies. I have to do it. I love Raikou. I know there's gonna be L's. Oh, L Vinny, L Cake, L L L. Nah, dude, that's a W. That is a W right there. Ice types. Okay. When it comes to the ice types, again, I know there's gonna be L's, but I am prepared to take those L's. I am prepared. I'm gonna take them on the chin. It's Cloyster, baby. It is Cloyster. That blue is gorgeous. I love it. I'm a big fan. I will always be a big fan. It's excellent. Actually, a lot of W's. A lot of W's there. Fighting types. Fighting types. This one, honestly, I do not have to think about it too long. I know exactly what I want to pick. It's Heracross. It is Heracross all day, every day. Call me up in the middle of the night. Yo, Vinny, what are you doing? You sleeping? Heracross. Yo, Vinny, can you pick up the groceries? Heracross. Yo, Vinny, did you go to the doctor's? Heracross. It's always Heracross. Thank you, horses. If shiny humans I appreciate were a thing, you. You'd be one of them. It's poison time, baby. For poison, and again, people might think I'm crazy, but my gut, bars, is saying Drapion. Drapion's red is simply sensational. I. If you put L in the chat right now, I can't be your friend. I can't trust you in life. Because Drapion's red is gorgeous. It's fantastic. Ground types. Aha. Uh -huh. Ground types. For the ground types, I am going to choose. so hard this is literally so hard dude my head's gonna explode um i'm gonna say ah, i'm gonna say crocodile oh god that was hard. That was hard, but somebody had to do it. It was hard, but somebody had to do it. For all of you saying it's ugly, you're crazy. You're crazy. I want to pick Sand Slash. I'm going Sand Slash. <laughs> I swear, I know that's going to get even more else. That was not a reaction based on your response, chat. I was, I was trying in that moment. I was trying in that moment to go with my heart, but my heart the entire time was saying Sand Slash. The red spikies are amazing, all right? They were amazing. So I'm gonna stick to my guns. You can type L if you want, I don't care. I'm built different, I'm built to last. Flying types. Let's check it out. All right, all right. For this one, I would say, objectively speaking, Objectively speaking, the best shiny here, I'd say Corviknight. I know people might be shocked. I would say Corviknight just because, because he's a steel bird, the metal body goes so crazy. Goes so hard. And trust me, I wanted to pick Gligar. I did. But that metal exterior, it's too, it's too OP. All right, now we're getting into the psychic territory. I would say, in my heart of hearts, you gotta go Mew and you can't look back. 
You gotta go Mew, and you can't look back. His blue is too adorable. It's too amazing. That's what we're rocking with. That's a W. It's gotta be unanimous W. Bug types. Bug types? Again, this one's coming to me pretty easily. It's Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is insane. I also love the fact that when you look at our top list right now, there's a lot of different colors. Blue, gray, red, kind of white, kind of silver, orange, blue, pink, red, tan and red, silver, blue, green. Like we're, we're picking variety, which is nice, which is very nice. All right, rock types. Gigalith. Gigalith is insane. Gigalith is major W, beautiful colors. It stands out. It pops. It's exactly what you want a shiny to be, and it does exactly what you want a shiny to do. All right? Next up, ghost types. Ghost types. Well, nope, no Pokeball. Ghost types. All right, let's scroll over here. Let's see. Hmm. Dude. None of these are really popping for me. Ghastly's cool, but I feel like... Yeah, no, the Ghastly's pretty cool. I don't know. I kind of like Skelly. Kofagrigus is sick. Yeah, no, judging from its original to its shiny, Kofagrigus got the, the biggest upgrade. I go Kofagrigus there. I go Kofagrigus there, no doubt. Dragon! Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay. Dragon? This is tough. This is very, very hard. Because just looking at all of these, I'm so tempted to click on Tyrantrum. I am so tempted to click on Tyrantrum right now. But Rayquaza's right there. And we can't disrespect the goat. We can't disrespect the goat. We simply can't. I was close. I can't get there. Now it's time for dark types. Oh, this one's tough, bro. You gotta go. Sometimes simplicity is key. You gotta go Umbreon. You gotta go Umbreon right there. When it's in front of you, you gotta go with it. You can't walk around confused with your head in the clouds. You gotta make the right decisions, and if you don't, you gotta learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward. I'm spitting facts right now. Steel types! Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, the Steel Boys. This should be unanimous. No stress, no worries. It's Metagross. It's Metagross all day. I better not see a single L in this chat right now. I better not see a single L. Nothing, but that should be the most unanimous of W's on this entire list, in my opinion. W's all day, every day. Fairy types. Fairy types for me? And again, I know a lot of people will not agree with this, but I'm gonna go with the Meryl, dude. That green color is spectacular. I know, I know, I know. Roast me at the stake. It's fine. I can take it. All right? Meryl has a gorgeous green. A gorgeous, gorgeous green. It's stupendous. Okay. Starter. So conflicted, man. It's either Greninja or Charizard. I don't know 
what to do. I love them both so much. I gotta just... I gotta go with my heart. I gotta go with my heart. I gotta do it to him. I gotta do it to him. I gotta do it to him. I gotta go Zard. It was... It could go either way, though. It could go either way. I know it's the simple pick. But it could go either way. It could simply go either way. Alright? I'm not gonna stress about it. Gimmick form. We're gonna simply move on to the gimmick form. This is a no-brainer. This is Mega Gengar. All day, every day. All day, every day. Hell yeah. We're all in agreement. Beautiful. Legendary. Who is the best shiny legendary? They're all so good. They're all so good. I love them all. I love them all. <sighs> Dude. I'm, I'm literally so torn. For the record, if I pick one of these, it doesn't mean I dislike the rest. I clearly love all of these. Love all of these. I love that he looks like a Zapdos. I love that Mewtwo is just Mewtwo with a green tail. Like, that to me is just dope. I love that color green, too. Giratina is really awesome. Genesect has the red. It's fantastic. I just, I feel like I'm going to get absolutely annihilated by this pick. I love the green. I love the green, dude. I literally love the green. It's... I know there's gonna be L's. It's okay. It's okay. It's... It's okay. I know you guys are angry. Anger's good. It's, it means I'm making you feel something. You don't want to come to this channel and be bored. You want to feel. And if it's anger, that's okay. Because now it's time for the overall favorite. Oh, God, there's so many good ones. Okay. Okay. All right, we got to make a decision. I think, objectively, the best shiny, when it was all said and done, if you look at all of these Pokemon... <sighs> Metagross. That's it. I did it. I'm not changing it. I'm locking in. I think Metagross is literally one of the most beautiful shinies ever. He goes from blue to a beautiful silver. His, his silver X turns into a beautiful popping yellow X. His, his feet, his toes turn yellow. Incredible. And my friends, that is our grid. And we're not done yet. Now we got to do the fun bottom stuff. Then we're going to tweet this out and we're going to call it a day. All right. That's how it's going down. Rayquaza is awesome. Rayquaza is awesome. So for the team, I would say I want Gyarados. I want... Now again, this is just... This is not to make a good team. This is which shinies we like the best. Metagross. Obviously. Trevenant. 
I'd say... Mew? Because of the best. I'm trying to make this diverse colors. So these are already pretty similar. We threw a blue in there. I'd say we gotta go Gigalith. Black question mark. Black question mark. Why did you pick that, man? <laughs> Why did you pick that, man? We had to do it. We had to do it. We have one more slot, right? One more slot? I'd say for the last slot, we go with... Going outside the box, Drapion. Drapion. I like that. It's a cool color team. I like it. It's clean. We got a lot of red in there. We got a lot of blues. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We know how I feel about Zard and Greninja. We love them. This is just making a cool colored team. Keeping it, keeping it simple. This is not my top six. Should I make it my top six? I just wanted to pick a bunch of Pokemon that vibe well together. That make a cool color palette. You want it to be top six? Bruh. Can I even... Okay, I can reset. Okay, top six. Top six. You want to see top six? We'll do top six. That's why we'll do top six. In no particular order. Gyarados. Metagross is fine. Y'all are going to kill me. Going Mew. Mm. I'm like scanning everything right now, dude. I'm scanning everything right now, dude. Scanning. Scanning. Dude, I cannot pick a top six. This is so hard. See, this is the challenging part of the stream. I'm not going to lie to you. This is very hard. I do like Meryl in there. I really do. I like Meryl. I like uh, maybe Gengar. I would swap out for Razaquaz. Maybe, yeah, maybe Razaquaz would go there. I like that. I feel like he, he could get swapped by... You know what? We'll, we'll stick to the green and we'll go with Mewtwo. All right. Gyarados, Metagross, Greninja, Charizard, Razaquaz, Mewtwo. That seems to be solid. I'm going to leave it at that. And now we're going to do the rest of the grid. Favorite regional bird? I'm going to say these we're going to do like rapid fire. I'm going to say Wingle. Regional Mammal. We're going to go with Rattata. Regional Bug. Spinarak. Oh, we already picked Spinarak. Crap. We're going to go with Caterpie then. Pseudo Legendary. Now we can go... Wait, with these we can do repeats, right? Because these are like... These are our top choices. So yeah, we can do repeats down here. Favorite pseudo, Metagross. Favorite Pikachu clone, Mimikyu. Favorite Evolution shiny, Umbreon. Favorite fossil, gotta go with this guy. Incredible. This is what, regional form? Okay, for regional form, Zapdos. I know you guys hate when I pick him, but I love him. Gigantamax, we're going with... Who are we going with here? Who's the best shiny here? Probably the Gengar again. That's awesome. Favorite baby, we'll go... Munchlax. Favorite new evolution. We will go... Probably Umbreon again, right? 
Probably Umbreon again. I'm like scanning this as fast as I can. Probably Umbreon again. You know, we'll do no repeats amongst the already repeated Mons. So if that's the case, I would say... This is tough. Maybe Steelix. Maybe Steelix. Because Steelix from Onyx is a huge upgrade. So we'll say Steelix. Favorite Alcremi. They all look the same. I guess I'll just pick this thing. Favorite Vivlion. We'll go with... I wonder if I'm going to pick the same one as last time. I'm going to go with this blue boy. The spin the thing. We don't got to worry about that. We'll just... That one. Yeah, that one looks good. Favorite Pokeball. Uh, we'll just go Master Ball because we stand the Master Ball. Favorite type. Fire. Favorite Paradox. Walking Wake. Favorite Ultra Beast. We'll go with... Naganadel. Favorite Mythical. Mew. Duh. And favorite box art legendary, we gotta give that to Razaquaz. And my friends, that is it. We have successfully ranked all of my favorite shiny Pokemon. Three and a half hours later, we got it done. Thank you all so much for being a part of this journey. The only thing that I would say, take with a grain of salt, the top six, those could those could definitely be interchangeable. I just, I picked on the fly. I went with my heart. The rest of these, though, these are all solid. I'm very proud of every single selection. Do me a favor. Make your own list. The link is down below in the description. Tweet at me, at Vinny, your uh, grid. I would love that. And what I want to do right now is I want to download this and put it on Twitter. And I want us to all go retweet it. So let me come over here to Twitter, or X, whatever the hell you want to call it. Pokemon boy, thank you, buddy. Okay. So I'm going to call this I... I... It's hard to type and walk. I ranked all of my favorite shiny Pokemon. There it is. Don't forget to read my comment. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to come over here to the community tab and I want to grab this little shiny symbol that looks beautiful. All right, chat, get ready to go retweet the tweet. I ranked all my favorite shiny Pokemon. All right, chat, it's up. Go, go, go. Everybody go retweet this fantastic dude i love the way they export it it looks fantastic go ahead and retweet that thank you guys so much i love you all amazing amazing stream i hope you guys have a great rest of your night thank you again to everyone that sent in super chats thank you to everyone that became a member you guys are incredible huge thank you to everyone that's going to go retweet the tweet you guys are incredible you guys are amazing i love you fam i'll be live again next week you guys know the deal love you all see you guys next time peace where is the stop stream button peace